Hey there. Hi there, Connor. Go Jags indeed. Hey, K. Simpson joined. Hey, guys. Um, we had some technical issues, and I live in L.A., and there was uh, something happened here in town. That's what happens when you live in when you live in in, this, in Hollywood. Uh, sometimes you get police choppers and area noise and all kinds of things happening. And that's so uh, we had to put a we had to put a 13 minute delay. But you know what? I'm going to go until 5:13. I'm going to I will give you back that 13 minutes. I figure we'll go a little over. So you, I promise you, you'll get that time back. Um, but you guys know me. There's always some type of weird. Technical hiccup. Uh, but here we are. Here we are. We are day one. We're just getting started. Uh, and uh, I've got... Uh, I'm... I'm, I'm uh, it, it's cold in L.A. It's very cold. So I am... Uh, I've got a little drink here that might be a little stronger than the usual cup of coffee. Um, Oh, that's good. Okay, we're gonna have fun. Mo we're gonna have moderate fun. I'm not, I won't get the slosh. Unless that encourages you to buy more prints, I'll, I'll get sloshed. But uh, let's see who's got, oh, we got a lot of people on it. Oh, people are joining. Nicole J, what's going on, Connor? I bet I Connor. I don't. Uh, I agree. I bet it's gorgeous in the Carolinas right now. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I've been cooking something up. You you know what? And people who live in the Northeast can appreciate this. Other people might go, oh, but it's it's it, we've had these damp. It hasn't rained in a few days, but the air is still damp because it's snowing. And like you can look towards Apple Valley and Big Bear. And you see all the snow on the mountains. Like, uh, it's very clear here in L.A. Uh, early winter, going into the new year, you get that. You don't see the smog. Sometimes you feel like, like sometimes cinematically or visually, you look out and it looks like you're in Salt Lake. And it's gorgeous because you, you can see snow on the mountains in the distance. You know, Mountain High is just is still in L.A. County. That's an hour away. Um, I was there a few years ago with a friend, uh, and we played in the snow, and it, it's you, you don't feel like you're living in Southern California. Um, but the air, my point is, the air is still damp here and it's chilly. Um, so I'm going to make a recipe for um, uh, uh, homemade baked beans. Uh, I'm gonna crock pot it tonight because it's gonna get it's gonna get chilly, it's gonna be the weather. Um, and uh, just so you know. Because I'm going to uh, try not to spoil a Jags game. I'm going to check on the scores. I'm going to re record it. Um, my family is also Giants fans. So I was hoping that the, the, the game, the Jags would be the late game and the Giants early. But I'll definitely uh, be off in time to watch most of the Giants game. So, uh, but, but you guys knew this was coming. So here we are. And I do, I, I do, the irony does not escape me that all the red dead colors are our Kansas City colors. I get it. I'm dealing with it. We're going to get through it. So if you're a Jags fan, you're watching, it's like, did you realize, it's like, I, right when I knew I was doing this, I totally, I get it. I get it. You don't have to say anything else. Uh, so uh, so go go Jags. But we, it, th this has been, uh, it's been a while since we did this. It's been a couple of years. And um I did, I did a little uh, uh, technical rehearsal last night, signed on just for a bit. Uh, and uh, hey, from UK, it's cold. I bet it is, Aisha. I bet it's cold. Um, but uh, the reason, and I was explaining this to the people who signed on quickly, like, I did, like late last night. I was just kind of setting everything up, making sure uh, all the prints were ready and all that stuff. Um, the reason why I haven't done a Streamly Live or done anything with Jemmy, if you guys remember some of the, the Jemmy parties we had, uh, and, and I had great experiences with both companies. The reason why is uh, when we were kind of creeping out of lockdown, like, oh, is things get back to normal? Um, I just it Pretty much everyone's been messaging me saying, oh, I'd love to have you in a town near me. I would love to have you come to the UK you know so like so many of the other casts have been to the UK how come you can't have been to the UK 
Um, those kind of questions. And just the reason is, is again, I'll go to any convention that invites me. I've gone to a couple of really cool ones. I hear, but the, 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 since post lockdown or, or from 2020 onward, when I did a convention right before everything shut down, everything's been Cal like everything's been California based. Uh, and I only go to the conventions I'm invited to. And, 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 uh, 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 and I've had a, an mar every convention I've been to, I've had nothing but a marvelous time. Um, I've never had a bad convention experience. Some have just been so awesome, they've been, you, if you have to compare, they've been better for others. But I've never been to a convention, talked to a fan, it's like, oh, this sucks. I've still always, I, I, I still, you know, it's like fishing to me. It's like the worst day fishing is 89% is better than most just other days. So I just, I wanted to, to just kind of get the interest drawn, drawn out there. Um, but I realized that there's a lot of fans overseas that, that want me and, 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 and other uh, than the Zurich Game Show, which was awesome. Um, it, it's, it, there wasn't seemed a way for, for, for people to get signed stuff and, and streamly it just works. And I was like, you know what, everyone's been uh, uh, contacting either Celeb Works or they've been, uh, messaging me on, on Instagram Messenger saying, when are you going to do another Streamly? And this was like around Thanksgiving. Uh, and when I was doing stuff, uh, when I was doing my my little trips there, my lighthouse tour in November back in Florida, people would be like, oh, you know, you, you, why don't you make this part of a Streamly and, you know, go to the uh, top of the lighthouse, a lighthouse and sign prints. And, and I go, the, the wind would eliminate that. Um, but yeah, it was it was time. It was overdue. I was overdue. And, 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 and you fans wanted it. And man, the pre-sales have shown it. And so we've got some great stuff. Uh, we're gonna get signed. We are going to, we'll, we'll, you know, we've got some VIP orders and, and the VIP orders we at Streamly, we take care of those first. And, and that is our guarantee. So we are going to, we're gonna do that. Um, but I just, you know, I just thought we'd kind of get nestled in and, uh, and, and, and chat. Um, uh, and all that, and all those fun stuffs. Uh, and so I'm gonna start reading some of these comments because I, you guys are, you guys are commenting. I haven't watched uh, Victor. Uh, no, I, uh, I have not watched Last of Us yet. I'm holding up. I'm, I'm behind. Like I just got done with Wednesday on Netflix. I love Wednesday, and. Um, uh, stuff I just recently finished. Uh, Netflix, Sex Education. Wow, what? Uh, that's a great series. Um, I'm a little bummed. Two of my favorite streaming shows, Ted Lasso and Cobra Kai, just announced that these next seasons are their final seasons. So we're only getting one more season of Ted Lasso and one more season of Cobra Kai. And, and my heart hurts. My heart hurts. But... If you're going to be a show, you're going to end out on top. That's that's the way to do it. So I'm looking forward to that. Silva likes almonds. Hey, hey, how you doing? Um, it is amazing. I agree, Kate. Uh, do I? Someone asked me this last night. Clancy, the answer is yes. I keep in contact with the with the cast. We have a a text thread, and. We're posting on it daily. Um, as far as like talking or or stuff, um, the you know it, like doing FaceTime, the people that you know that that I've I've gotten to talk to the most, um, just because it's just the way our schedules work is 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 Ben, Ben you know I Ben is down the road off Sunset Boulevard, so I can I can just go over and see him. Uh, so. Ben, I see the Ben, I see the most. Um, I, I've let's see, who did I see last? Uh, saw Alex and Penny during Halloween at a at an awesome Halloween party that we posted about. It was also uh, Alex's uh, slash birthday party. It was a lot of fun. Um, the, you know, the 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 Red Dead cast that lives in L.A. We when when we are able to, uh, we try to go and and support one another's either. Uh, Either someone does a play, someone's got a, a, a gig. Uh, we try to show up. Um, by the way, Penny O'Brien sings like an angel. She's musically talented, and the next time she has a show in town, 
um, I don't want to miss it. Um, and because uh, I know Sam went to her last show, which was like like a month, a little month, like before Christmas, and I I, I wasn't able to get to it. But um, if you guys have been following on Instagram, she's got clips of her music. Check her out. She's so good. I didn't even know she was that good. She's uh, we we're we're very talented people, but I mean sometimes we still put each other in awe. So go go support Penny's music because Penny's a good she's a good egg she's she's one of the good ones. Um, but yeah, we 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 try to hang out when we can. Um, uh, you know, a lot of the New York crews got really cool stuff going on. Uh, Mick Melanthi is always killing it over at the Irish Rap, and he's like, "Ah, come see the show; it's going to sell out. Get your tickets." And I, 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 you know, it's just because of my schedule, I can't, I can't get to New York. I haven't been to New York City in a while, but I know if I was there, I would, I would totally be seeing Mick shows because everyone, I just, I love everyone, and 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 we 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 stay in contact. Uh, I got some great uh, family Christmas cards from Kylie and Roger and Rob, so everyone's doing really well, and uh, I think that uh, I think that the fans out there are gonna get a kick out of uh, some of the other stuff that's coming out. Uh, because, uh, I know it's hard to believe, but we, these actors do more than just read that stuff. And, uh, some, some very cool stuff's coming out. I'm very excited for it. So I just say, you know, stay tuned. I mean, I'm going to take another drink of my secret ingredient here. I'm not telling you what it is, but brandy's in it. Yeah, that's good. I would join it like a, a scotch or a bourbon, but it's 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 kind of chilly this morning, and I need something to warm the blood, so I'm good for you guys. Oh, hello from Germany, yeah. Uh, Case Case Simpson, you said it. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna talk about it yet. Maybe one of our guests signing on will just speak for themselves. But yes, there's that. And if you didn't see what Case Simpson just posted in the uh, in the thread there, we're just, we're going to wait another maybe 10 minutes. And then why not just hear the info from the horse's mouth, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yes, Kay. Yeah, that looks, that looks dope. So cool. Let's read some of these comments. Um, hey, oh, Patty. Patty Murphy. Patty, if you're watching, people have been asking about a Lulu update. And I gave him, I did a, I did it, I did kind of like a camera test late, late last night. Uh, just, it was up maybe like 15 minutes and just kind of prepping everyone for today. And people were asking about Lulu. Um, we've got some guests coming on. I, I don't know when you're available. I'm going to, I'm going to wait here the next 15 minutes to hear from a particular someone. But if you feel, if you have time, because I know you're working on it right now. If you, if you want to sign on and give the fans an update, feel free. If not, uh, cause I know, I know you're, I know you're busy cause I know what you're working on. Um, but I'm going to, Patty, I'm going to leave that up to you, but I love you very much and you're part of this crew. Uh, and so, uh, you, uh, let me know if you want an invite, but, but I'm leaving the lines open for the next 15 minutes because our first guest for this whole Streamly event, uh, hopefully it's going to be, you know, we'll see. Um, let me check my power group. I don't have my, uh, uh, I was doing, uh, I, I, I was doing some work, uh, uh, at an actor friend's, uh, home. He has a new, like, recording system, and I, I brought my charger, and I left one of my charging bricks there, so I'm short a charging brick at the last minute with my, everything I've got set up. So my ring light isn't, I don't need my ring light right now. Um, but if it gets dark early, cause it's winter. So I may have to switch things up. But so I, I don't, I don't need it. This is a good pick. You guys get to see everything. Uh, yes. Victor, uh, well, if I if I was, you wouldn't know about it. But 
I'm not under contract, so I can say that I'm not. Now, whether you believe me or not is another thing. You're, Maggie, you're doing, you're doing a Dominican Republic metal cruise? Holy shit. Hey, Ryan. Ryan, I like your stuff. Yeah, I, I really do. I need, I, and I need to, I need to share it. But no, I've been checking you out, man. Congrats. You, you're looking good. Yes, Cole Lobo. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Malachi. Uh, Malachi, I've, I've, I think the entire cast has said this, is, is that, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Red Dead in the, in the, uh, in the future. Your guess is as good, at, good as ours. I can speak for myself. Probably could speak for others, but I'm just going to speak for myself here. Um, I would, if, if if Bill Williamson is needed again, all they have to do, they, they know my contact info, they know my representations info, all they have to do is reach out. In a new, as, as Harrison Ford would say regarding Indiana Jones, in a New York minute. Yeah. Absolutely I would. What's up? What's up, Salman? Maggio Matthew, they really need to make an RDR show or movie. I, I, you know, I don't, well, it's not up to me, you know, there's things like that, but I would, I'm one of those people, it's like, I, I think it works well in the medium it does. I mean, would you, would, I mean, what would you, what would you rather, if you could have it in your hand right now, would you rather have an, a Red Dead series or would you, would you rather have Red Dead 3? That's the question. I, I don't, I don't to say, I, I can't, you know, I, well, there can't be another Red Dead without Bill. Oh, I'm, I think there could. Uh, I'm not that bold to say that. I, I, I would love to be involved. I, do, I don't, I don't, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I, and the thing is, when I, after doing the first one, I thought it was one and done. I, I, I mean, there had been rumblings of a prequel, but you can't put, you can't hold that much water in a, in a thought like that. It's like, well, it's 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 a toss up, maybe, but you you can't you can't base any you can't base coin on that. I wouldn't put a bet on it. And it worked out, and it worked out better than I thought. So in my head, it's like, well, lightning stuck twice. It could strike a third time. Um, I don't I don't know, I don't know. So we'll see we'll see what happens. But the fact that you fans want it to happen, uh. Just let Rockstar know that. We'll see what happens. Oh, Malachi, you're right. That's a lot of people would love to have another prequel where it, where the culminate like it ends. I always said that's like a trilogy in reverse. It's like if Red Dead Three is a prequel, it ends with the Blackwater massacre and ends with you finishes Arthur getting everyone out of there, going up to the snow. So that way, when you play two. It starts off where Red Dead Three ends. Yeah, no, it yeah, uh, that would uh, fans don't mind that pattern. Do some people say, "Oh, we should continue as Jack," and there's other fans like, "I don't, I don't agree with that. I think we should." Do, and there's different ideas. Only Rockstar, if Rockstar is going to do a Red Dead Three, you know, I mean, I, I've mused of what I think would be a good idea, but I, I, I you know, I, I, I don't, I have no, I have no bucket to hold that water. It doesn't, you know, it's just one of those things. That, yes, that's all. I, I love, by the way, I, it, and this goes out to everyone out there and everyone's, uh, everyone's fan art. Every, and I'm calling it fan art uh, it, it, because you, you're fans and you're doing artwork. Please don't take that. Uh, and, 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 and I want to say this as someone, you know, the, the, the debate about, that's been happening as far as actors and the term voice actor and stuff and, and, and the, and the dialogue we've played into that and, and, and how, and how wording matters. Um, you guys deserve that same, that same courtesy. And what I mean by that is 
sometimes I'll post stuff and I'll say, this is fan art. And sometimes there's a thing that goes behind fan art like it's amateurish. And I've got to say, and if using that term has insulted you, I am so sorry because to be honest, the artwork I've seen is on the ultimate professional level. And, I've, and some of you that I've friended and I've checked out your artwork and I've looked and it is, it, it, it's amazing. It, 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 is, it is so good. And, and it's, it's, I think, I think that maybe you could agree that maybe the term fan art for you is something we'll deal with that term voice actor us. And, and I had to think about that and I was like, yeah, I, I wanted to address that. Um, but the artwork I've seen from the fans is so good. It is, it is professional. It is professional. And I, I hope, I pray that that you dedicated artists out there are being treated as professionals uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at the detail of, of all your artwork and it doesn't go past me. And, and I, I, I hope to share more of it and I've, I'll do a better job of if you, if I have your permission, I'll reach out to you privately and say, I really like this. May I share? Of course I'll tag you and give you credit. Um, but I don't, um, it's not like I look, it's like, oh, it's fan art. Um, you know, it's like, no, you, 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 you're fans, but you're artists. And by God, many, if not most of you are, are going professional level. You, it's looking really good. Um, and some people, it's like, I've watched, you know, young, I was between ages 17, 18, 19, where it's really good. And, and it's, and it's, um, uh, and, and you're not, you're like, well, I, I'm only 17 years old, but I'm, I, I know it's not perfect. I'm getting better. And just over the last couple of years, I've watched like, you've gotten better. I'm, and I love watching this because I did, I was, I, I did art. I did painting when I was 17, 18 and I get that feeling and it's like, I'm watching you grow and, and I'm, I'm very impressed. That's what I'm trying to say is, is, is some of the artwork out there is amazing and I am appreciative of Every drawing, every watercolor, every uh, 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 every etching template, everything I've seen out there, I, I, every sculpture, um, I, I'm amazed and I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, yeah, no, the, play play as uh, play, you, Red Dead Three plays Matt Calendar, or do a do like a GTA do a GTA five where you get three different outcomes. You play as Mac, Davy, and Jenny Kirk. So you get to play you you um but like I think it'd be cool is if maybe you start off and you switch between the three and then and then at one point you have to choose. You could still act with interact with the other two. But, but at one point, almost like in a chapter two or three, it's at one point, it's like, okay, you got to choose whose narrative you're going with and then lock it in. And then the rest of the game will be completely different for each one. That would be mind blowing. That would be awesome. And the game play, uh, even after certain things got trimmed down and cut, would be 274 hours. So <laughs> I don't know. I just, but some of these, I, yeah. If the need, if the need is out there, the, 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 you know, the, the, the sense of commerce will make it happen, you know. Yes, Ganson. Uh, hey, Berhabe, don't know how to pronounce it, but yes, uh, the, the Jags game. It was, the fact they got in the playoffs is awesome, but I'm, I'm going to give them a chance. They, you got to give them a chance uh, today. I, I, Silver Wolf Girl, 14. I don't, I don't know. I don't, it's not my, it's not my call, but I think another prequel would, would be awesome. Um, yeah, I think another prequel would be awesome, but they may not. I mean, they, there's so many, you know, they could, I mean, listen, I, I, I like, I like talking theories with fans as far as what, because I'm, again, you know, I'm a gamer. 
and I, I and I, I get where you're coming from. You know, I, I that's in the this that I think. Um, in the end, it's Rockstar's decision, and, and um, I, you know, I'm, they could very well be thinking of where to go with Red Dead here, but it may not be anything that we think it is. Um, one idea I've thrown out, and I thought about it, is like, what if you, what if you did a prequel? And, 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 and the culmination, the end, you know, the end game you're trying to get with that particular story is the Blackwater Massacre. But what if, what if you're playing as a member of the O'Driscoll game? Uh, you know, uh, what, what about that? So I don't know. I do not know. I did, and, and I want to tell you guys something. Um, to get, I wasn't going to, because my last playthrough of Red Dead Two was over a year ago. I started a new playthrough. I wasn't going because, like, I don't know if I have time for this, but I, I got itch. I, I did. I started a new playthrough, and, 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 and I have to say that every time I've done a playthrough, I have discovered something new I didn't know was in the game, and I'm being dead serious. And the one thing that I discovered is I was in um, West Elizabeth, uh, west of the lake there, Owajila. And you know, like, like you're going to the borders of the game where the high rocks are. Uh, it's on that side, past Owajila. Uh, and you can, you, you find that big obelisk. And then you find that, that pagan ritual thing in the ground. And it's got the mounted torso corpse with the mask on it. Directly behind the pagan, like you're going, you're like trying to go to the border of the map. Where like you try to go up the rock and you slide down because you can't go beyond the border. But way up in the rocks up there, there was like a little can, it's like a crevice. And out of that crevice popped a red Arabian horse. He was red. And I and I was like, that horse is red. Is that a is that a t is there is the tint on my screen like it was red? And I I'm looking at it and I it's it's it was like I'm trying not to spook it, but I got my binoculars out. And it said Arabian. I go, Arabian. And I got it. And I had no idea about Arabians. Because I know up uh, up in the mountains in the snow, you, there's that white Mustang um, that, you know, near where you find the, the, the rare, the legendary buffalo. But I had no idea there was a red Arabian. And I, and I rode him. And I got him. The only reason I got him is I turned him and I got him stuck behind two tiny trees. And we could And it, it glitched. And then he and then he just wavered, and I, and then he was tamed, and I go, he's mine. Um, so I had no idea there was a red Arabian in single player Red Dead Two. And if you guys know him for a while, and I sound like a noob, I'm sorry, but I I got this, and he's gorgeous, and uh, and so I had no idea. But the thing is, I was in the damn thing. We're going on what five years out. I was I was in the game. I was there when they were making it. I had no freaking idea there was a Ravi in that that color, and 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 I've got this cool red horse, and uh, and and so yeah, yeah, they are the fastest. No, it's it's because when you're doing the horse challenges, it's like you know the dry land challenge between blah. That's the one you want. That's because it's like you, you want to just I I just want to get this challenge. I want to go to the trapper, buy the belt, buy the holster, and just move on. If you got an Arabian, it's like, okay, this is going to be, we're going to knock this out. And I knocked all those out on the back of a red Arabian. And if you're wondering what I named them, didn't, we're going into geek, geek, uh, uh, geek territory. I was telling Ben Davis this, because uh, we're, both, we're both, you know, fans of Star Trek. And I said, I've never done this. With I said, so all the, I've got the four horses purchased or, or the, what I captured the red one for uh, uh, playing as Arthur for one through six. And then John comes, he'll get all new horses. But I, <laughs> I named all my horses, uh, based off of, of, uh, famous Star Trek Klingons. Cause I haven't done that yet. I've, I've picked native American names, um, all kinds of stuff. And I was like, I'm going to name him after Klingons. So what did I name the red Arabian is I named him Kruge. And that, is the Klingon uh, from Star Trek Three, played by Christopher Lloyd, who kills Kirk's son, or has Kirk's son ordered? Um, 
and he's he's just I mean that that's a really great performance. That's that's just it's like a wild manic Klingon. Um, but that's that's what I named the Red Arabian. And I have a Ardenus named Gauron. My Andalusian female is uh, um, is uh, is Kalar. And uh, and that my Dutch warm bloods a female is uh, is Vixis. Uh, all Klingon names. Kapla. So I'm a nerd just like you. So just get over it. I'm, I have no shame. I have no shame. I, I've never apologized for who I am. <laughs> but I got a red horse. I had no idea you could get a red horse. And I'm geeking out like a little kid because I just, I, I appreciate the game aspects. That's the one thing is like, I, I see where it's coming from for you guys because I, uh, I, 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 I play the games too. And I, and I get it. So, so, you know, it's like, again, I don't have control over what Rockstar is going to do in the future. But when people ask me, oh, I'd like a Red Dead series. It's like, well, I, I'd love to be part of it. I don't know if there would be, if there would be series I'd be involved but my thought, again, whatever happens, happens. But I, I look at it as like, wouldn't you just rather have another game? So you could, re so that way everyone gets to be a part of it. That's just how I feel. Oh my God, there's a lot of, uh... hold on here. Let me, did I get a request? Oh, someone asked, who's my favorite RDR2 character? Um, I'd say Bill. Because it's benefited me, um, I like so many. I, I, one of the sm I, and I've said this at conventions. One of the smaller characters I really love is the fur trapper. Um, that's a great. That's just a great character. I really love the fur trapper. He, I, I, I've said it before. He sounds like um, Quint. He sounds like Robert Shaw's character from Jaws, um, and he's just. It's just. Uh, uh, you get hypnotized by his voice telling stories and, and that's just a, that's just a fun character there's so many great characters in both red dead games um you know you could get lost in the world and bump into someone who's like I, I like oh they're funny i like them or like oh wow that's really interesting um yeah oh mark Oh man, let's go Chiefs. Gee, well, all right. Well, see, this is the problem with Lulu and the electric dreamboat. We got two producers on it, or myself and, and, and Bruce. And Bruce lives in Kansas City, and I'm from Florida. So there's, I get it. I, I listen. I get it. I get. I get it. The cast. We're 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 going to be torn today. Just today. And it, yes, I, I realize that the Red Dead colors are Kansas City colors. That has not escaped me as I'm wearing Jags here. So we'll we'll get through that. But yeah, I can, I can, I can, yeah. So Mark, you're actually doing a smart thing. I'm sure Bruce appreciates that. Um, yeah, so that's where we are with that today. <laughs> Mary, uh, yes, Victor. Mary Beth is a is a great character. Yeah, and Sam is very talented and awesome. And uh... oh yeah, um, uh, yes. Um, every time I've played, I've done. I've I played a hundred percent, and I, the game finishes, and I'm there. As John at Arthur's grave, uh, grave goes to black and hundred percent. Yeah, I've I've done it. Um, so yes. Now, I'll eventually I'll hundred percent the game I have, but I'm taking very slow. I've just got other things going on, but I wanted to. Uh, it's like I wanted to refresh myself into everything that is exciting you guys as fans, and. Uh, and, and, and when I start, I say, you know what, maybe, maybe the cool thing, maybe I'll find something new that I can talk to the fans about during the stream. Like, and sure enough, the, 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 my fifth day in, at the end of my fifth day, I get a Red Arabian. 
that was that was uh, that was awesome. So, ah, uh, Patty, look, you support, um, you support the producer that'll help you out the most. Because I know Bruce has more money than me, so if you want to go, <laughs> if you want to say go Chiefs, I get it. I get it. Whatever it's, whatever gets the film done, it's okay. It's all right. You're not going to offend me. I just want to see a good. I just want a good game, and I don't want any injuries. Mm. Um, that that Bills uh, Bengals game uh, coming up. That's going to be. Um, that's that's gonna be a really emotional game because the last two times those teams met with the Hamlin uh, uh, injury and that that uh, and thank God he's doing okay. Um, that was that was such a scary that was a scary day of football. That was scary, um, but uh, but hopefully they can they can show great sportsmanship, have a have a good clean game, and come out better for it. So. I'm glad you, I'm glad well I'll tell you what I haven't heard from my I haven't heard from my one special guest um I don't I don't know uh I don't know Patty if you wanted to sign on you don't have to um I was trying to leave the line open uh for a particular particular guest I don't see them I've never been to Scotland um I, I know that uh some of the some of the uh, cast went a few months ago to the Edinburgh um, convention. They had a great time, but I was uh, I was in Ireland last year, and I've 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 been to England. So I haven't been to Scotland. I haven't been to Wales, but man, did I have a great time in Ireland last year. Um, la well, last yeah, being twenty twenty November twenty twenty one. So it's just like a year and three months since. Uh, I've never been to Greece. I want to go to Greece. It's very affordable. Oh, Patty, is this you? Hold on a second. Hold on. Thing and then their quest. So let's see if we can get uh, Mr. Patty Murphy, director of Lulu and the Electric Dreamboat, on with us. Hello. <laughs> Hey! How are you doing? How you doing, Bob? I'm, I'm doing great. Oh, uh, as I say, look, as I say, the only place in the U.S. that I have ever been is Kansas City. So I usually support Casey Chiefs, but Steve, I've got your back. I support the Florida, whoever it is you support. <laughs> the Jaguars. That's that's exactly who I'm supporting today. Uh, but I hope I hope both teams play well. Yes, around. as you say, the main uh, thing is long as it's a safe game and nobody ends up like hurt. That's well. That's no, no, we don't. We don't. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think the the league wants another incident. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes uh, goes well. Um, but to how how you how you doing? What's going on? What do you so like first off? About? Let me address. You want to get. Up I was about to say, let me address the Lulu in the room, and then I realized that my cat Lulu is in the other room. So, uh, <laughs> but let me address the, the the movie Lulu in the room. I guess, um, yeah, it's going great. Uh, been working a lot the past two weeks with um, the sound engineer Max, who's based out in Italy. Um, he's doing amazing stuff on the sound mix, and again, I don't know what people know about film stuff, but Sound is such a... People can forgive bad video. They can't forgive bad sound. That's just the way it goes. Um, well, I was, I was saying last night, I did, I did like a little warm-up uh, technical test run IG Live. I was only on for 15 or so minutes, but I, I, I did my best. And I said, I said we're, we're spending extra time with sound edit because we've got a great original soundtrack that, that has a bunch of great Irish and Limerick-based 
rock and punk bands and we need them because the whole movie is is magical and and elevated by yeah. the songs they contribute and the, and this act that we have and it's like we have to if we make those all those songs as clear and as crisp as we can it's just going to even elevate this movie because it's really it, kind of like a whimsical it, it is it is it's as much as thing. sing street is like it's not you know it's the same in the same wheelhouse as something like sing street um and like that, even, you know, with Max, one of the things he wants to do is he has the raw files for the tracks now. So he actually wants to be able to balance the, like, instruments separately so that he can have, like, if someone's talking and you bring the track down, but you have one instrument staying up, you know, because it matches the tone of what's going on in a scene, you know, things like that. So it's a lot of people, again, I think a lot of people don't quite realize that, you know, there can be, with, with stuff like this, there's a huge amount to be done in post-production and the reason it can get done in in a year or a year and a half for a big movie is because they have an un almost infinite sized budget sometimes but when you're a small production uh yeah like you can't have it what's it cheap fast and good so you have to pick and so we always go with uh cheap and good <laughs> but not fast yeah. <laughs> no it, it, i i like you said, we've got something oh, special here, but we magic. Don't, we when don't you spend watch. 400 hours <laughs> editing a film, the guts of 400 hours, and you still cry at the end of the movie, like when you watch it after that process, you're like, crap, like this. I've edited stuff before where I'm just, when it's done, I'm just like, take it away from me. I never want to see it again. I'm so, please, I just, I can't. But like with Lulu, like it finishes, and I'm just like a ball of snot and tears, just like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I hope it has that same uh, effect on people when they do get to see it, which I mean, look, we are still aiming to start submitting the festivals for kind of March of this year. I mean, uh, again, like we are planning on doing a Kickstarter update, actually. Uh, I will kind of just tease that now that we are going to do a Kickstarter update. Uh, so <laughs> we are going to aim to have it for Valentine's Day because that was actually when me and Mikey first announced Lulu and the Electric Dream but was on Valentine's Day 2021. So, yeah, we're, we're hoping to kind of show people where we're at with things on Valentine's Day 2023. <laughs> well, it's just you you let me know what's needed, my friend, on, on my end. And uh, we will, we will, uh, uh, we will take care. We're, and we'll take care of everyone. We will take care of the of the oh, Kickstarter yeah. request as promised. Uh, it's taking it, this film has taken a little bit longer than we expected, but at the same time, there are parts about it and certain circumstances that have come from the making of this film that are glorious that we didn't expect. As far as what we got out of the musical contributions and it's like we we've got something here we that that kind of evolved into something that is really cool and we didn't expect we have to nurture us right? oh this is, yeah this is making it and it's awesome and guys we gotta, we gotta i'm just gonna say it here now right there's some phenomenal performances in this movie you know from the the, the two leads of mikey and sinead you know paul fitz is phenomenal in it francis healy but I have to say it here, guys, and it's not just sucking up because Steve knows I, I don't need to suck up to him anymore. <laughs> but it's not just sucking up. Steve absolutely slays in his performance in this uh, movie. Uh, you know, again, some of the big emotional beats are, are really rammed home by Steve. Uh, Steve and Francis in particular, I would say, together. Uh, great chemistry. Do you know what platforms Lulu would be available on? So... Again, with, with a movie like this, you don't really know at this stage because, again, what will happen is we'll take it to festivals and then we'll be trying to, to pitch it to, we'll say, like sales, uh, basically distri distributors. So, like, it'll really come down to what distributor acquires the film. And the idea is you want to make it as big and beautiful and glorious of a proposition as possible so that as the person who does acquire it is like, I have plans for this to go everywhere. I want it to be on every platform under the sun. But look, with my previous movies, they've been on, you know, Amazon Prime and uh, YouTube movies and things like that, uh, Voodoo, Redbox. So, like, there will be a lot of platforms regardless, but 
we're going to aim high with this one. We're going to aim real damn high. Um, with the amazing talents behind us, you know? It, it's, I'm, I'm looking forward, looking forward to it. And I'm also looking forward uh, to whatever <laughs> you're directing next. Oh yeah, I, I had retired um, as you know. <laughs> And then I got pulled back in. <laughs> well, I always say that I, I never thought you retired, but you said I'm taking a I'm taking a leave of retired. absence for a while <laughs> before I. <laughs> John Williams, John Williams, his whole last year is like his retirement, and then an article comes out. Well, they're doing a documentary about me, and Spielberg's the producer of the documentary. And I'm going to do incidental music for the documentary, but also Stephen came with me for an idea. I, I, might, I might retire, but now there's a couple projects Stephen's doing that I, I think I agreed to to do some music. So he's like, you know what? Until until he's in the ground, <laughs> which I hope is not for a while. Um, John, he's always on yeah. track of my life, and so I want it possible. And uh, and so you could you could do that. I mean, look if 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 John Williams and people like Brett Favre and Tom Brady can retire and then unretire, <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Um, you know, uh, James Cagney retired, and then right before his death, he came back in the early '80s and he yeah. did Ragtime. And Ragtime has its problem, but there's parts of it that that, that actually were. Is that way of expression your mind? Uh, <laughs> it, it, that was like ah, this is this, this, some of this is really good. Um, yeah. Milo Forman. I mean, hey, but anyway, you can you can say it's you like, retire like the gang. You retire. It's like the gang in the, in the game. It's like one. That's that's what happens, right? It's like my producer from Australia came to me and was like, "One more movie, Penny. Just one more movie." And I'm like, "I'm out. I'm out, Judd. I can't do anymore." And he's like, "One more movie." I'm like. All right, but this is the last one. <laughs> well, I, 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 I very much am looking forward to whatever I your next. I'm hoping that is. there will be a part in it uh, for you. And again, you know how these things are at the early stage. It's always hard to say, but there is from reading the script level. I'm like, I would love Steve for this part, but you know, we'll play that by ear. I would like to work with you on anything I do because. You know, you're a good mate, but moreover than that, you're somebody that's uh, great to work with because, you know, you bring your own talent to it, but you're also willing to listen to feedback. Again, I think that's what makes a great actor is is not just... Because, again, you don't want somebody who'll just come in and just listen to direction, just be like, yes, okay, point me in the direction, I'll do whatever. You want somebody who brings their own flavor to it as well because otherwise, what's the point, you know? Um, that was the great thing, again, with Trevor and Lulu, you know... You, you had an angle, you knew an idea of who Trevor was, but you came in swinging for the fences and you, uh, and you not, yeah, you fucking knocked it out of the park. So that's what it's about. Well, I, 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 uh, yeah, I'm being quite vague, but I've, I've, I, I kind of know what, <laughs> yeah. and if I can, it, it may, I suppose, because the other producer involved in it, but um, I, no matter what happens, I'm supporting this movie because uh, I, 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 I will know, let's just say I know a little bit of yes. it. Yes. Uh, and if there is something, if there's, well, I, I know what part yeah. we're talking about. <laughs> so if that's available, I'll, I'll, I'll come back. I'll, 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 I'll find a way, man. I'll we'll find see. a way, no matter what happens with this, to, to get you in there. Um, yeah, I know, but uh, I suppose the main thing, like, as I say, we haven't put out an official update for Lulu in a while. Um, well, I suppose Mikey's been managing the Instagram page quite well, keeping up with people's requests, etc. But the main thing is, one of the main reasons I haven't been uh, dealing with that side of things is because, of, as you said earlier, I've just been so focused on the actual movie, getting it done and getting it ready and right. And, you know, for me, when you're in that post-production process, it's, it's tunnel vision. It's like I'm here until it's done. And so I, I, people are like, oh, there, you know, Mikey was like, there are some people asking about that. And I'm like, yes, tell them it's definitely coming. But like right now, I just got to keep my eye on the prize of what this glorious movie is going to be like when it's done. Um, well, I'll, 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 
tell you what, when I post this section of the, of the video today on Instagram, I will, I will note in the comment section yeah. that this is the official Lulu and Electric Dream Boat. Just so, just so people are like, oh, oh, hey. And Perfect. Then, and then there we go. But it's, we yeah. haven't forgotten you kicked some orders. Not at all. Uh, I, I've seen a rough cut of the film, uh, and it was a rough cut, and, 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 and it, it still is a great narrative. There are things that obviously need to be polished because that's what a rough edit is, a rough cut. But I know that was yeah. several months ago. That was like and September, October. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, so uh, I'm looking, I'm look, you know, we're going to get this film out and it's going to be in the best shape like possible. And uh, yeah, there we go. Go. Thanks, great, man. Man. Yeah. A lot of self-care and self-love these last couple of months. <laughs> Here's to the uh, winter 2022. Uh, Hell yes. For both of us. Jink. I think we both, both, really, we both have been, I had to cut out drinking. I'm having a little oh, something right now. But I, yeah, I exactly. No, that's, I, yeah, like, I don't know. You know yourself. It's like, just, uh, I've just been walking and uh, doing something I always thought I would never do, which is yoga, which I'd always been like. Interesting thing is that I started doing yoga for my head, not for my fitness. I didn't start it because I thought I'd lose weight because of it. I was just like, I need something where I can just like, I don't know, get lost in my own head for a little while. And now I'm really enjoying it. Like two months in, I'm like, oh, this is actually, this is what I've needed all these years. Um, Sometimes that sometimes a, a remedy like that uh, uh, is good if you're dealing like a filmmaker. You're dealing with deadlines and stress. And it's like I, yeah. I'm stressed. How do I? I've been doing these things for stress. As I get older, I don't know if I'm just pacifying something that needs to be worked on. Maybe something more organic and blah blah blah. And you just gotta learn to know yourself and 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 do what's comfortable for you. And the only one putting it. Don't put yeah. a deadline. Put set a goal. If you, yeah, put a goal, hell yeah. Don't let anyone else say, say if I'm I'm going to set this goal, but I'm going to do it in an yeah. enjoyable way for me, and that's the you'll but you'll get more done. It. Also, I just want to say a massive. I want to say hello to Harriet Preble. I just saw her join there. I love Harriet. She's amazing. Such a great uh, Red Dead fan. Adore her. <laughs> so many amazing Red Dead peeps in here. You love to see it. Uh, Steve, I'll probably I've, I've hijacked your life for probably long enough. <laughs> no, we've got. Some, you gotta understand. That I'm whoops. I'm doing this uh, until uh, we're, we're only like an hour in, and I I was I was a few minutes late. I'm actually going to go until quarter after five. Yeah, people, I had some some issues. Issues, um, but I'm also doing the same thing tomorrow, and we've got. So, so I, I was like, no, we're going to get into the signing. I'm going to, we're going to start on the, the VIP orders. But I was like, yeah, let's, let's stretch this out, baby. <laughs> and I was like, anyone wants to know? But uh, this, this is going to count as the official Lulu update. And, and, and if you are, if you supported Lulu, thank um, you. <laughs> I, I, as you said, dramatic chops to this, we have to admit that in his respective part, Rob Weedoff. Has oh, my God. I... And, and it, but we know that when people, people, people know it when they, when they see the camera. Rob You're not, Weedoff, and not prepared for it. Whether yeah. you know that Rob's in the movie or not, you will not be prepared for Rob's amazing. <laughs> oh, God. It's just, it makes me, it makes me laugh. It makes me so happy thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's it? No, uh, as I say, it's crazy. It's been nearly two years, but at the same time, uh, I always feel like when you make movies and things like that, somebody said it earlier in chat. I don't know who said it, but they were spot on. And they said that, like, you know, there's a big difference when something is made out of passion than when it's made for just, just profits, just like, oh, I want to make money off this thing versus, like, actually, you know, you see it in, in Something like Red Dead. Red Dead is made by a, a, a big company, but the passion of every artist involved in it comes through in every frame. Um, and it's the same, you know, it's the same with this. Everyone involved gave us blood, literally, sweat, literally, 
tears, literally, and other bodily fluids, literally, you know. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it, it's, it's just one of those things where it, 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 we've got, we've got something we, we know that we're, we're proud as the people that were part of making it. And, and now it's to put it out there and, and, That's it. and it will live. That's you, you make a piece of art and it lives. It really yeah. lives and dies on its own. Exactly. And, 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 but well, I, I the great thing about what has been made here with Lulu and the Electric Dreamboat is that it's 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 whimsical, it's charming. Um, it doesn't try to be anything that it isn't. If that if that, that makes sense, but it's just it's one of those things where I think people can people can very comfortably relate to what's going on. Wouldn't it? And, One way of describing yeah. Lulu that kind of works, I think, is it is that it is that punk kid, you know, who, you know, acts a certain way and looks a certain way because he thinks that's how he's supposed to. But when you get to the core of it, has a heart of gold, you know, underneath all the like hair dye yeah. and the stuff where he's trying to trying to be as punk as possible uh, and doesn't really understand what that is on yeah. the inside. He's he's just that uh, you know Lulu is that punk kid that uh, has a true heart of gold. <laughs> but yeah. That's it. Yes. Well, my I'll let you go. I'm here in the listen, most quintessentially I, Irish kitchen you've ever seen in your life. Um, <laughs> oh, no, I I love where, where's the bear? Hey, oh, where's the bear? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I still got my 600 box. berries to you guys. <laughs> oh my I don't know what berries tea is a great breakfast tea I discovered it I was given it by the cat last 21 they're like you've never had berries tea and then there's an there's an Irish gift shop in St. Augustine when I visit my parents in November and I went in and they had boxes of berries tea and I stayed up and I took it you're back to LA with me, and I'm still drinking it because I don't drink coffee anymore. I still drink tea, and that's my morning. That's my morning. It's amazing. Usually. So good, and <laughs> I love. It. And thank you, I remember having it. This is damn good tea, and I'm like, why is it good compared to? And they're like, just don't ask questions. It is what it is. Don't jinx it. Literally, it's, it's very, you're like Barry's tea. Like, oh, Barry, thank you, the cinematographer. It's tea's tea. <laughs> The, the, the Irish no tea. Everyone in 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 Ireland and and in Wales and England, they, they know tea. But there's something about berries tea where it's like. If you meet someone from Ireland and they tell you, if you meet someone from Ireland and they they say they prefer lions as tea, I I would not speak to that person. I would just I would alienate them. I would never get engaged. <laughs> is as common as in the States as Lipton's tea, but Barry's tea isn't like, you say Lipton's tea and it's like, oh, oh Lipton's, you know, Kermit the Frog and the mean drinking it. It's like, you know, that big Southern night, that's what the red drink, Lipton's, oh, God. But Barry's tea, it's like, it's the common tea, but it's like- It's Barry's people are passionate tea. about us. It's really good. This, will you sign some shit? What the hell are you talking about? And I'm like, you got to drink the tea to understand. I'm riffing. I don't know. You get it. You get it. I sign on this thing. I want this shit. Tea. Just, like talk about <laughs> tea bag. Here, Oreo, you say goodbye to everyone before we head off, all right? Come here, you big goof. Goodbye. Oh, you're good. Hey, what's up? Look at that. He's a good boy. Oh. Oh, yeah, boy, that's right. That's good... <laughs> People love dogs, right? <laughs> yes, sir. That, there's, there's, a, there's a video going on. It's like an audio book reading of, of the, uh, what's, uh, the book uh, by oh, Prince Christ. Harry called <laughs> Spare, and it's, I, I, not in people, you have to look for it. I'm not going to go, but I know, I know 
showed it to Roger Clark. I, he laughed hysterically. I wasn't prepared. It's, it's, Steve, it's on. I wasn't prepared. I I was I was fucking buckled, man. I was destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, the last for existence, Queen Elizabeth II robot <laughs> made by Prince Harry. But there's more to it. You have to go. I mean, that's the least <laughs> funny thing about it. But it's it's. I, I didn't know what I was watching, and then I'm, I'm listening, and I said, I have to send. It. Uh, you, uh, when you sent it to me, I was you were just like, I cannot stop laughing, and I was like, okay, and then I clicked into it, and I was like, oh, I understand now. Okay, yeah, me neither. <laughs> I had never heard the term here. <laughs> and, uh, oh God! Uh, it's it's good. I it's said, good. This is like, my friend, it is always good to chuckle same. and laugh with you. And and and, and hope the next same. time we do it is in person. Um, I'm very I'm very proud of the work we did together. And I can't wait for everyone else to find him here. And uh, again, thank you so much for bringing me on here to just chat a little bit about Lulu and T and, <laughs> and American football, all things that I'm deeply passionate about. Yeah. <laughs> That's my tombstone right there. He loved Red Dead, Lulu, American football, and T. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Well, no. Well, it, it, you know, that's what you like. And a huge yeah. kudos to everyone in chat. Uh, I know some of you, I don't know some of you, but you're all amazing. And thank you for supporting Steve, who we all love. That's why we're here. Shared love of Steve as both his character and obviously as the amazing, wonderful, brilliant human being that he is. So, yeah, you guys keep being freaking amazing too. And definitely, if you weren't a backer on Lulu, keep your eyes peeled because, again, with the right sales distributor, this thing could be... This thing could, could very well be massive, like colossal. The right person puts it out, could be in every theater around you. You just don't know, you know, so keep your eyes peeled. We'll see what happens. But I'm feeling pretty damn confident about it two weeks into the sound mix. I, I, that makes me, I, I, I'm, I, no matter what happens, I'm proud of the little film we made. And, and I think that as we put as much love and passion we we just when it's ready we drop it where it goes and and it'll be what it'll be but i think we're confident that uh, it'll absolutely be cool. and and then and then you drop the, the kid you throw the that, kid in the creek and that's it that's what I, i'm confident and, that we've yeah exactly uh i think you know again it's just a case of getting it. Here's the thing: the movie is good enough to to be to be amazing. Go out there to be in every theater, as I say, on Netflix, on a you know whatever platform. But really, what it's about now is just putting it in its best Sunday clothes for its first outing. You know what I mean? So that everybody gets to go. Oh my God, that's the kid. They're amazing. <laughs> like that's what we're doing now is just putting those like you know. Okay, let's get him a nice cravat and like you know let's. Let's really pay attention here to like, make him the best he can be. We're putting our film in his old cravat. I'm really bad with metaphors in case you didn't realize. If, if that's what sells it, put the kid in the damn silk cravat. All right, I'll let you go. I appreciate you and thank you so much. Love you too, man. I love you, buddy. And much love, everyone. Talk to you later. And I'll be here hanging in the background anyway, <laughs> watching you. <laughs> awesome. Bye. Awesome. Bye, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the X. That's really obvious. Yeah. You get it? Oh, he's frozen. He's like, oh, whoop, who's frozen? He's frozen. You get it? What's going on? Let's just look at Patty's face for a while. With the circle spinning. Is that's a director right there. Look at that face. I don't know if he's frozen he's frozen on my end. Is he frozen on your end? There. Oh. There we go. All right. <laughs> what a great what a great still to be frozen on. Uh I love that guy. Patty Murphy's awesome.
Mrs. Amelia Cotton, I notice you. You don't have to scream. I see you. Oh, Patty, you're very welcome. You're frozen now. The thing has been, you're like, in the kitchen. But that's that's the Patty I know. It works for me. <laughs> I, I do. Everyone saw you. <laughs> uh, Franco, uh, un poquito. Uh, pero no bien. Uh, okay. He was there on my, he was, he was, it was, I was laughing because it's like the bottom, it's like the spilling. He's, he's like, <laughs> okay. Hey guys. Um, well, the other guest, that was a great thing. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to lock this, this portion of the video. Uh, we are going to lock as, uh, uh part one. I'm, I'm still going to go. I'm not, I'm not ending it. You know, we break, we're going to break it up like usually Instagram only goes so long and I'm going to post all the segments. But this one's going to be posted as Lulu update because I know a lot of a lot of you fans on the signing were also Kickstarter contributors to Lulu. And you have been asking me in private messages, hey, I can what what's going on with Lulu? And it was never our intention to leave you in the dark. Um, I wanted to take the stream away also as an opportunity to update because uh, there's some very cool things happening. And you have the right to know, you should know, and, and I hope that helps. But please believe us, me it's not just in the thing, but as a producer, we want this to be right. This, this was a homegrown idea that got the whole community, uh, the city of Limerick, the town of Killaloo, uh, where we shot, it, people really got, you know, uh, we got uses of in, indoor shops and stuff for certain scenes, and people really came together, this, this Irish countryside community, uh, came together to help get this made. So we want to, we want to do this right. We want to do this so right. And if you're, if you're a fan of like 90s rock and bands like the Cranberries and, 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 and a band like that who started in Limerick, Ireland, uh, we went to some of their legendary haunts and, and, and filmed in tribute. This is, this, um, I, I think you're really, really gonna, I think you're really gonna like the film. And you're going to understand why we're taking that extra time with it because we feel like we have something special. So, uh, yeah, I'm, and it is chugging along, Grace. Absolutely, absolutely. So, thanks. So, if you're if you're a Kickstarter contributor, tri contributor, if you are a Kickstarter contributor, there we go. Um, thank you for your patience. We uh, wholeheartedly, we've got a great film, and it will see the light of day, and and we will thank you properly for it. So thank you, thank you again for your patience. Speaking of patience, I've been yep, 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 yapping. Uh, we've been doing this an hour because it was a little bit late. So we will go to 515. You'll get those 15 minutes back. Technical issues. Raise your hand if you want me to start signing shit. Whoa. Why don't we, why don't we start? Why don't we start? Uh, I, got, I got my queue up here on the laptop. Let me refresh because I bet we got some new orders. But, I, but what we do here with Streamly uh, is uh, we do have, we, we, we take care of the VIP orders first. Uh, we'll get to everyone, but VIP comes first. Uh, cheaper than, hey, Steve, hope you've been doing good. Hope you're the highest of voice actor for a project someday. Hey, that, that sounds cool. Where's my uh, thing? Where's my cursor? Where's my Stop doing that. There we go. All right, let's try this again. All right. Okay. We have I got my print set up. I got my drink down here and I've got Stacks print. If you have a drink, always keep liquids away from paper. And I think I'm safe. Let's let's go for our first one, shall we? Wait. Holy shit! Did you hear that? That was a loud. That was a loud crack. I cracked my own back. But, but if you heard that, that was that was freaking loud. Um, okay. So the first. Hold on. Let me do this. Uh, Streamly changed their online, the store setup. So let me have to mark, mark this. 
Okay, here we go. Who am I signing this? Uh, do I have a pen? I guess I write this in pen. Okay, so I'm not making this out to anyone in particular, but I am signing it. So the first print will be on this glorious still of Bill. It's a Bill still. It's a still of Bill Williamson. There we go. We're going to do that. Uh, yeah. Oh. Let's see here. Hold on a second, folks. Be right back. There we go. It's like a harder surface because I got my my table with my laptop and everything's kind of full. So I'm gonna I have a little hard booklet for my lamp design. Um, so this one uh, is uh, uh, v the first VIP. And uh, they want me to sign it with a quote, Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, let's... Uh, Let's go to the collection of pens and markers, and let's see what we have here. Now, what would be good? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do this in the white ink pen. So what I will do is I will in pen on the back. Put the, order, the order numbers are a lot longer than they used to be, but that's okay. It just makes Wow, this cold weather really cold my pens. Come on guys. Here. I'm just writing the order number on back. Okay. There we go. Uh, the cold, weird weather we've been having, it gets, uh, it's been more damp, and I have a little thing of pens out, and it's like drying up. Either the pen will dry up, or if the pen's in a holder, the ink will run, and I'll write, and it'll bleed out. So it's just, I don't know if it's, if it's where I am in barometric pressure, but my pens are acting up. Oh, hold on. Is this a video request? Oh no, that's not the, that's not our special guest. Okay, I'll sign it right here. What else? Anything else here? No, just a quote. Oh, I can do that.
The great thing about Streamily and signings like this is I can put I can put these aside and let them dry, as opposed to being at a table and someone carrying the print away. Uh, but there's a smudge. And, and not like all, every print smudges, but sometimes if you're going around, you're buying other things. Uh, it can happen. Right, this one's working all right. All right, so here we go. This is the first VIP order. Mary, you got any hair, Paul my Mary and Bill Morgan, you got any hair? I can't say Morgan. You got any hair pomade from Marion Bill Williamson and the guy from Lulu and the Electric Dream Boats. There we go. First one's done and we close this. Okay. It seems like I'm slow going. I haven't done it, so forgive me. Uh, we're just getting started. So, you know, as the day goes, I'll, I'll pick up my pace. But again, we got a lot of time. We're, we're, we're two, two days of this, so we're, we're going to have plenty of time. All right, just making sure it went. Ah, this we got, we sold the sunset print. Look at that. Those were popular last time. Yeah, there's a few of those left. Let me just check something to make sure. No, 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 no. Oh, we got they got there. Okay. I'm just saying it marked is completed. Uh yeah. Stop doing that. I'm just going to have to do touch screen. Uh, okay. It's a, uh, it's a new uh, system as far as the orders. So I'm just, I'm getting used to it. The, the, the lineup is, uh, the, uh, is different. Format, I meant. The format of the online order filling is, is slightly different than it used to be. Okay. Anyway, I'm blabbing. Let's uh, let's do another one. Okay, another VIP. Does he even say who this is from? Let's find out. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope. I did that wrong. This is not. This is not the next one. I don't want to go to order. I want to, I want to do this proper order. <laughs> I'm actually going to put these here. The next print. Uh, how, how, 
oh, how do I order one of these prints? Sorry about that. I'm just reading now. If you're if you're just signing on, you want to print. It's like, oh, I just found out about this streamly. You go on my Instagram page, go in my bio section, and you'll see in the blue the blue link, it'll say link tree. Click on the link tree, and then it'll take you. Um, it'll say something like a green blur page, like insensitive content. I don't know. What to, you just click on there and add for donation of Black My Lives Matter comes up, but you'll see the uh, the gray the gray background with the with the elongated oval buttons and the first one will say this streamly event you click on there it'll take you right to the streamly store you can order prints so again link tree in my bio on instagram it'll go to the thing it's a top circular oval button it says streamly click on that it takes you right to the store and yeah and the store it, uh it's like i did pre-sales but it's not like the store closed last night the store is going to remain open until end of day tomorrow so uh, you can buy anything. If you've already pre-ordered something, you want to, hey, I want to buy something else, store's open. Uh, order away. The only way you can't get anything is if a certain item sells out, and we have ha had items sell out already. So just, you know, uh, if you're thinking about it, and, and it'll tell you, like, like how many items are left or low percentile, um, order them before they're gone because things are going. All right, let's do another one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Who's this from? Or who's this to? Raymond, you're next. Uh, uh, could Mr. Palmer, that's my dad. Could Mr. Palmer write the quote, now I'm in charge on the poster also? Yeah, ab absolutely. I'll do that for you. Let me get the order now. This goes out to Raymond. God, these order numbers are long. I get that's okay. Hey, I don't want to get mixed up. All right. All right, VIP. Sure, got it right. Okay. Your wish is my command, Raymond. Now I'm in charge. My neighbor is having a yard party and they're playing Wilson Phillips. Let that sink in. All righty, Raymond. I think that's everything. Raymond, this goes out to you. Your VIP order is complete. There we go. And it will go into the, uh, the dry section or the drying section. I'm going to take a little sip of my stuff here. is complete. 
All right, hold on one second. I just got to check something here. All right. Okay. Moving on. So, up on the list next, VIP order. Ah, guess what? This VIP order is going out to Arabella. Arabella, are you with us? I've gotten to your order. You're number three on the VIP list. Uh, you are getting the Wanted Poster Sepia Tone, which is this is like my most popular one. This is my this, this is my most popular print of all time since I started doing Red Dead conventions. People love this. Um, it's pretty cool. And Arabella wanted to go this way, so we're going to sign this one for you. Making sure none of the no, this is a good one. Splat. And this is also done, by the way. Give a shout out. This is done. This was. Uh, can you see that? Miss Mel's art is responsible for the print. She's been compensated and she gets and she gets a shout out. Good job. Um, blah blah blah. So Arabella. The white's looking good. I'm gonna go white with this. Well, let me, I'm going to answer this question. Steve, do you feel, this is from Silver Wolf Girl 14. Steve, do you feel when doing a playthrough of RDR, oh, hold on, playthrough of RDR, you can get into the game or do you think of the production? I think of the game. I think there's sometimes, uh, I'll think of production or reminisce if I, oh, that scene. Um, uh, like, like in campfire but most of the part i get lost in, i get lost in the sauce as they say i'm like i'm just kind of like oh it 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 it, it my uh, i'm i get in i i get into it like you do and i think that's the magic of what we did it's like i, I it's like i was there making the thing and i forget i'm i'm in it i forget that's me sometimes i i do and it's and i then i i catch myself and i was like now that that's a powerful that's pretty powerful that that just happened all right, Arabella. I don't want to do this too much. I'm sure that sounds annoying. If you want. Arabella, beautiful name. Very similar to Clarabella, which is an old rock song that the Beatles covered, and they did a great job of, which you can find on Live at the BBC Volume 1. I'm always a Beatle nerd. I'm a Beatle nerd more than a Jaguar fan, so just know that. Special instructions. Uh, Arabella, just the smiley face and said, a kind message. Aww. Oh, did, did I not write the thing? Up? Well, I'll put it on the bottom. No, actually, let me put it on now because I don't want to smear it. Excuse me while I put your order number on the back. This very long order number that you should not be listening to, but that's okay. I don't want to get mixed up. Oh, one second. All right, going back to Arabella. A kind message. I'm going to sign it, put my signature on the bottom, and then I'll, I'll think of it. I'll think of something really cool.
I'm just going to, I'm going to, this is going to be more from me than Bill. I'm going to say. Sometimes you just got to say, thank you for being such a lovely fan, because you are. You all are lovely fans. I hope you like, like that, because I like signing for you. All right, we got everything on back. Okay, we got that one done. That's going into the dry section. Who's next? All right, next, next VIP order. Oh, who's this one? Eleanor, you're next. Hi, El oh, Eleanor. He's a really popular one, a second. Eleanor got one of these. And we're going to get that done. Hold on a second. Someone's coming. What's this? Hold on. This is from Silver the Magpie. Now, this is interesting. Hi, Steve. I had an idea for something you could do on stream. I thought it would be fun to do a fact or fiction of your Wikipedia or IMDb page. Uh, what? I don't know what you mean by that. Like, you try to quiz me? Or I try to quiz you? Explain. I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm intrigued. I don't, but it's like, what, what are, this sounds like a fun game. What are the rules? Uh, so if you're still with us, uh, Silver the Magpie, uh, explain and go. Hey, Mole the Millionaire. Again, this is, uh, this next VIP disco on Eleanor. Eleanor, if you're with us, your next one, sign it. Mm -hmm. And what does Eleanor want? No special instruct. I'll give you, I'll give you a fun quote. Okay. Oh, go over the information from what's correct or incorrect. So you, you go over the information and then you check with me? Is that how it goes? I'm up for anything. I'm up for anything. Is that what you want to do? I, yes, I'm still, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. That, I, never, I never went anywhere. Pork, Kay, if you're with us, we've talked, Kay Simpson and I talked about that. We, we laughed about it, but I'm fine. Oh, I do it. Okay, let me get to, okay, just, uh, so this, silver, so what you're saying is, like, I, I, I pick out something that you can, uh, about my career that you can fact check? I, I guess I'm trying to, you do, she's like, you do it, so I'm, I'm, Oh, thank you, just kidding. Let me sign this, and then, and then, uh, Silver, if you could just, uh, you're so, oh, Silver, the magpie says, yeah, okay. Because those sites lie sometimes. Well, am I just stating facts about my career, or am I trying to stump you? Am I trying to do it, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah, and, and, the sites lie, or if not intentionally, sometimes the uh, just the information gets mixed up. Um, 
So, okay, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I, I will, uh, I will, uh, oh, I, you know what, I, I get, I get what you're, I, I ju it just clicked. I, I'm trying to multitask. Yeah. No, I, I know exactly what, I know exactly what you're meaning now for me. Okay. Let me, I'll tell you what, let me get through a few. I, I get it now. Let me get through a few of these signings and I'm trying not to smear anything. And then my brain will work and then we'll, we'll do a couple of, but I, I get, it. I see what you're, I see what you're going at now. I've, I've seen it done with the cards. Google does it like Paul McCartney does. He takes the thing and it's like, that's, if that's what you're thinking of doing, I can do that. But let me, let me do, let me do this first. Cause I'm, okay. Oh, I forgot to do the order in the back. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Right. I did this backwards, so try not to try not to smear me. Just go look at my signature there for a minute. So this goes out to the lovely Eleanor. Oh, did I? No, I didn't smear it. All right, Eleanor. You going in the drawing section? And we got that. Who is next? The next, the VIP. Hey, Cole Wolf, you're next. Well, bam. Cole, again, gets the lovely uh, Sepia Tone Wanted poster, my most popular pick. Oh, my goodness. You want the full quote. Okay, you want the full quote. All right. I'll do it, but I'm going to do the order number first. Cole Wolf is, uh, states, will you please write a, sh a soliloquy in full? Yeah, these are long confirmation order numbers. That's okay. Okay, Cole. Are you with us, Cole? Oh, Cole Lobo, that's you. I've been using white. Are you cool with white? I can use, uh, no, I, will, I can, I, I can fit it on. I can fit it on. I'm, I'm being slightly sarcastic. No, but it's, it's, I can fit it on. Is white, is white cool? I can do gold. I'll give you 20 seconds to respond. White's good.
And the ink pens are funny in certain, but when they're when they're working good, they're working really good. And it, and it does. All right, I'm gonna sign it very. No, no, no. You know what? No. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paste this out so I don't run out of room. I'll do it in the very corner. So similar to last confirmation of it. All right. Whoops. Okay. That E looks a little better now. Oh, okay. I see what you want me to do here. Because I must put the actual quote. But you want your name inserted. I must because I almost wrote John. That's funny. No, I'm writing Cole. I fixed it. Cole's having me write a lot if you're wondering why this is taking so long, but it's okay. It's okay. There we go. All right. I think I blocked this out just right. I want to retrace that because the I'm retracing the word bitch because it didn't come in clear. And I want people to see this and say, oh, bitch. All right. Yeah, sometimes you have to slightly retrace with the white. It, it does look good. It does look good with this one. I want you to be happy. I want everyone to be happy with these prints. But most importantly, me. All right, so Cole, here's what we got. Are you happy? I want you, if you like this, Cole, send an emoji of a piece of broccoli. If you like this, Cole, you have to send an emoji of a piece of broccoli. Yeah, but Cole, you got to 
Seriously, you got to send the broccoli emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I do that because I just, I look on my phone and it's like, I don't think people use these emojis and I feel like they're left out. Sometimes just my fans is like, use that emoji just so it doesn't feel left out. There we go. There we go. <laughs> all right, cool. I know, I'm silly sometimes, but that's all right. All right, we got you done. You're going into the training section. Who's next on the VRP? Oh, my goodness. Ryan Lavery, where you at? Ryan, are you with us? Because Ryan, Ryan. Ryan, and you're next. No, it's okay, Cole. I'm giving you a hard time. No, it's great. Hello, uh, is it Eowyn Thielen? Yeah. Hi from France. Doing, doing very good. Hey, everyone. Send the man the broccoli. He did. He did. No, I was happy to do it. Oh, how, if you're just signing on and you want to get an autograph, here's what you do. You go to my uh, Instagram page and you go in my bio section. And in the link there, in like the blue underlined link, it'll say link tree. Click on that. Uh, it'll take you to my page. It'll say weird content thing. There's an ad that comes with donations for Black Lives Matter. Uh, and then uh, you get the great, like the, the picture of me, great background with long oval buttons. And the first one on top says this streamly event. Press on that, it will take you to my store, and you can buy any print that hasn't sold out yet. We're still selling stuff, so that's that's how it goes. So again, go to my bio, click the link tree. It'll take you to all the buttons I have, my Cameo, my IMDP page. The top one says Streamly for today and tomorrow's day. Click it, it takes you right to the store. Ryan, you're next. Hold on. I got to crack my back again. This is a, I, this is a new gaming chair I got, by the way. I'm just, I'm, uh, and it's comfortable. I'm just leaning forward and not knowing it. And then I get, so I got to do this a lot. I don't think I heard that. Yeah, the gaming chair is red and blue. Every, it's ironic because I'm a Jaguar fan and all the red dead colors are pretty much is what Kansas City is wearing today. So that hasn't escaped me, the, the irony in that. But let's, uh, let's, get you, uh, let's get you down for a signature, Ryan. Ryan, are you with us? Ryan, if you're with us, send me an emoji of a bag of money. Roger here. Let me see. Is he trying to get on? Let's see. Well, here, here's the thing. Roger is supposed to be one of my guests. Maybe something came up, uh, but he can jump on any sign. Um, we can keep it a surprise, but uh, that's okay. I will invite anyone who wants to, uh, any of my cast who wants to join. Uh, let's get to Ryan next. Ryan has got one of these traditional prints. These are my second most popular. Ryan, I'm going to sign this right now. Was, did I miss him? Was Rob here? I just, I must, uh, if, if they can come back, I'll get them on. I got, I got, uh, Patty was a nice treat. Because I know people have been wanting a Lulu update, so getting Patty on there. But listen, I'm doing this all day today and all day tomorrow. So we'll we'll get if people if uh, if Cass wants to jump on, they can. I will I will make them. All right, here we go. Ryan, let's get your let's get your order number on here before I forget. To Ryan Lavery or Lavery? Me too, Tartan. Me too.
Ryan's like, any, any quote will do. I'm like, really? All right, well, let me, I'll give you one that I don't use a lot, but it's still a great quote. This is a great chapter to quote. That's not good. Don't die on me, White. I can switch to another, I got another white one. So Ryan's like, uh, put any quote on it, any quote will do. And I was like, oh, well, I should put a quote I don't use as much. And I don't know why. It's kind of because it's freaking, it's a, it's a funny one. But so Ryan, look what the cat dragged in. There you go, buddy. Happy New Year. You got, you got yourself a print. I know that smudges one section. All right. What do we got now? Oh, oh, did I skip one? Just got to make sure all I don't miss a VIP. So hold on a second. Oh, is this the first VIP of the, uh, this is the first. I think I just got some ink on my nose. Mm. Oh, that's a good stuff. It smells great. Uh, anyway, we got the Valentine Brawl. We go. We're getting one of those. This is going out to Felix. Felix, are you with us? Because you are next, buddy. Uh, yeah, Curzon, you know, Curzon is... Uh, Who's Curzon Bobel? <laughs> he has a, the Curzon I know, but the Curzon Bobel, I think he has two. <laughs> no, Curzon, Curzon, yeah, he's not on social media. That's not his, some people aren't. That's fine. It's not his bag, but Curzon's a great guy. And uh, I miss seeing him too. This is a great print, by the way, the Valentine. This, uh, when um, Entertainment Weekly did a, uh, Thing about Red Dead, this is the pick they put in. And I have that issue at Entertainment Weekly. It's pick of Bill getting beat up, by the way. Made me quite happy. So, uh, uh, so Felix, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, Felix, are you with us? I'm going to switch up because I want to. I'm going to do this in gold. I hope, Felix, you don't mind. If you're on here and you want white, let me know. But I'm just going to give that one a rest. Because ink pens are kind of like that. That's a good, it is a good pick. It's Curzon Dobell, but someone put Curzon Bobell. And I made the joke. But I don't know. Him. Maybe he is. All right. Felix, um, did I not? I didn't. I'm. I got to put the thing on first. That's so funny. I'm forgetting that. It's all right. We're, we're, it's all getting done.
All right, to the VIP. To the VIP. All right. Uh, wait, did I, I think I screwed something. No, no, I didn't. I got it. All right, Felix. Sorry. How's the yellow look? Oh, that look. I like that. I hope Felix, you like it. Because that's what you get. In Do you have a no, not a particular quote. I'm just trying to find it. I don't want to put it on their face. I gotta just find a good place to put it. Let me I know what I'll do. I'll put the signature on the There we go. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. If you don't want a particular quote, I look at the thing and I try to do it all spatially so I'm not like you know, bogarting a cool picture with it with just ink, you know. But each signature is done with care and love. So I want you guys to be happy. You guys are awesome. We couldn't, we wouldn't have the success. One for the fans. How long have I been acting for since I was sixteen? I mean, that's when I wanted to do it, not professionally. I would do high school plays. I did stamp comedy area. Um, I gotta let this dry because I, I try to retrace to fill it in and it it took the pain away. So I'm gonna take a slight break, let that dry so I can do a little touch. And I didn't smear it. If Felix, if you're watching, it's looking good. I just gotta do it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll bring that up real quick. I, I started, uh, I was in high school in the early 90s, so I was a big fan of Saturday Night Live. I watched, um, you, you know, when I was in high school, Adam Sandler was on SNL. So it was uh, Phil Hartman, Mike Myers, Dana Carvey, David Spade, Rob Schneider, that whole, Chris Rock, that whole group, Jan Hooks, or Victoria Jackson, um, and, and they were they were awesome. And... I loved it so much. I started doing impersonations and, uh, and I played sports. I wrestled, I did football, but I, I was just more artistically inclined. And my dad noticed this and I was started doing impressions. I'd watch SNL and I was like, I want to impersonate president George Bush. I want to do it. Just, and I, I just got into it. Like I practiced and my dad took notice of that. He was very impressed because he would, he noticed I was getting better. Like Saturday night live came on. And he was like, we'd watch with my sister and I'd start talking along with the TV. And they're like, you, you sound, that's really good. And I just got, I just got that encouragement from my family because, you know, I was young. I was trying to find out who I was and, and I was getting a rise out of everybody. So that's usually just how the class clown mentality works is you, you do it for a rise or whatever. You do it to get attention, and if it works, you keep at it. And that's what I did, and and that's that's how I, that's how it started. But it started as an interest in like impressions and stand-up comedy. But as I grew as a person, and and really wanted to do it, and realized that it, it's a, uh, it's not an easy task. It's a lot of sacrifice. Um, I really started putting in the work. You know, I I would work on Shakespeare monologues, I work on Greek theater, I took classes, I, I auditioned for scholarships, I got them, I, I, I got better at uh, memorizing, I studied, you know, I went to, I, I went to, I went to college for this, and, and it, it, it uh, I took, a, a, you know, I, I was uh, with a improv team at, uh, okay, so this goes out to Silver, uh, the magpie, about the, the, the thing. Uh, one of, and I'll tell you, one of the things on IMDb will say, 
I was part of the uh, the uh, IO West uh, improv uh, Herald team, Emperor Penguin. Our coach was Eric Stone Street, uh, Emmy winning actor of the show Modern Family. Uh, Eric played uh, Cameron. That is all true. Uh, but before he made it big, Eric was uh, my coach for Emperor Penguin at Improv Olympic. And he was a great guy. And uh, I, I got to, to, he saw me work uh, before, this was before he got Modern Family. This is for, I became Bill Williamson. And uh, we're just two guys trying to hustle and make it. And, and he was working, he was, you know, booking like roles on TV and stuff, but he wasn't what he is now. You know, and uh, he he left. He got a major role. I think it was that movie with. Uh, it was in the, like two thousand five or two thousand six. It was Scarlett Johansson and Ewan McGregor. The Island was that the name of the movie in the mid two thousands. He booked that. He had a part in that. And from that, like right after that, he he got modern, he got modern family. And then the rest is history. And he, he became the thing he is now. He's this, this awesome talent um, that everyone adores as they should. He's a great guy, you know, and I only knew him for a little bit, but I, I really liked Eric. Um, and the last time I saw him, and this is before it was in 2006 and, and it was in Burbank. And I was with some friends uh, with Brandon Ralph was doing uh, Superman returns. And we went to see that in the theater. And that's the last time he was in there with a buddy. And I, and I was like, hey, Eric. And he went, Steve, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that was the last time I saw him in person. And, and I always like to bump into him again and just, uh, and just say, man, you come a long way from Ember Penguin days. Um, but, yeah, it's just, uh, it, it, it's, it's, that was all that was all true that was fine and, and improv olympic is still in chicago the hollywood location closed like right before covid which was heartbreaking um my, my my team's picture was on the wall for years in the hall in the hallway and uh very proud of that so that that was uh that was one of the first big things i did uh that meant a lot to me as being part of uh uh a long form uh, improv team uh at improv olympic it was uh it was good times that those that those were fun all right i mean gavin felix uh felix this is what you get buddy uh i hope you like it um quote but i didn't want to draw over everyone's faces so in gold you gotta work smart i don't know if bill's working smart in this but maybe he thinks he is and that's what's important so there you go uh, Felix, I love the name. I love the cat. Um, Happy New Year. Here's your print. It's going to set to dry. Did I not do it? Hold on. Let's see if I... There we go. Who's next? Nicole... Oh, Nicole wants the quote. What about me? I've never done that as a quote. You're the first. You're getting it, Nicole. You are next on the VIP list. Give a round for Nicole. Okay. Are you guys having fun? Am I gabbing too much? Are you bored? Is everyone doing okay? Nicole, it's Nicole J. Uh, do you want me to try the gold? Do you want me to go back to white? Tell me what you want, Nicole, since you're here. Do you care? I'll wait. I'll wait. hear what you say. I have to say. This is, this is the print you want. So, like, filling out one grand space. You want me to use gold? Oh, no. That, sorry. That's uh, that's Jessica. Keep going. Which one, Nicole? Do you know? Did you say? Did you say? Did you answer? I'm going to try gold with this. Is that cool? Because it, it actually looks good on Felix's. 
So, uh, and I do want to give the white a rest. Because I have another white one that's this little wider tip. But I'm trying to keep these more fun. Gold. Oh, let's see, it works better now. What about me? Yeah, Bill, what about you? Oh, come on. All right. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to let it dry a bit because it's doing the, like I'm trying to retrace it, but it, it's it's the t the tip is still fine on this one. So when it starts, it looks very crisp and clear, but it's pointy enough where if you retrace, it'll kind of rub off the ink. So you gotta let it dry to do a double. But the helix turned out. So um, and I didn't write the thing. On, how I'm like, I can't believe I'm I'm my mind is making me forget that. No no issues. No issues. Me. Some just flew in my eye. Uh, what's your most favorite role you've ever played? It, it did well. It, 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 Bill, listen, Bill has done a lot for me. So Bill, I, Bill Bill's pretty hard to beat. Um, I would. Say Say that, but if, if we if we took my involvement and read that out of the picture, uh, uh, and, and uh, as far as uh, I, you know, I did. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll, I'll try to think objectively as far as. Um, Smearing me, it's not doing that. All right. Um, someone just asked, what's it take to be a voice actor? You know what? It, I don't know. I don't I don't know. Um I'm gonna borrow this quote from a very talented actor that's a member of Celebworks that Tony Young, he, he, he was in Deadwood, I've done a couple conventions with him. You know, you know, we're still trying to sustain a career uh, in the business on our own, on a day-to-day -day basis. And he would say, I can tell, tell you what make you a better voice actor, but how you crack into the thing, is, it, it, it will vary from people. I think you have to be interested. I think you have to have a passion or like, I really want to do this. Um, no, 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 no. Was that you just that asked that question? Oh, my favorite, my favorite role. Who has, oh, no, this is uh, X Malik asks, what does it take to be a voice actor? Jez, I'll get to your question. Let me answer X Malik. Um, 
you know what I, I was in the right place at the right at the right time um i went out, out for the red audition in end of 20 uh, 2008 and i wasn't looking to get uh i wasn't looking to get into like a voice voiceover thing i was just looking to get a job it's an acting job and i didn't know it was a, like the break it was like a western thing and i i like i didn't find out the day the day of until it was a video game it was just some western project and i'm like oh yeah yeah because i want to work um oh see yellow's being weird i'm gonna uh i got the yellow in the quote in your name nicole we switched to white this one's being weird for some reason I'll let it rest that's why i've got i've got two jars full of markers and ink pens and stuff so it's not like i'm gonna run out uh, we got stuff. You're, you're going to get like a, a little mix of the two. Ooh, that actually looks cool. This looks kind of freaking badass. Um, and then you died on me. Oh my God. Hold on. Fight's not up yet. Hold on. Look at this. Look, I got another white one. This one. Look at this. It's still in the wrapper. This is brand new, folks. I'm prepared. Um, wait, I got to answer a question. Who's one? This is X Malik. Um, anyway, I was going off on a tangent. Um, it's hard to figure out like what makes you a great voice actor, uh, or, or if you're asking like how do you get discovered, I would just um, you, you can do research online and go to YouTube and see what it and see what as far as breaking in. I mean, I could give you advice and stuff but if if it's something you really want to do the one do what you have control over practice on voices if you watch anime if you watch cartoons if you do impressions make your own demo reel go online and see how demo reels are made and make one for yourself it's like i want i want to create and, and if you've got an ipad or an iphone you've got technology that can do stuff that i didn't have 20 you know what the 90s what was that 30 like 30 years ago so if you're a young person like 30 years ago didn't have the technology we have now if i had an iphone 30 years ago oh my jeez oh, that would be amazing so if you have that use a tool make you know they've got free apps for like the voice demo thing play around what you know i mean are do you do you have a voice do you have the talent to do it Maybe you do. No, everyone's told me that I've got talent. I just don't know what to do. Well, um, you got to motivate yourself to research. You know, job's not going to come to you. If it does, you're lucky. You got, you got, you got to be aggressive and go out to the job. Uh, and 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 so, but you got to have the passion of of, uh, of wanting to do it and having fun. If you're if you don't have fun with it, that's okay. There's other things in life to do. There's other there's other cool jobs in being an actor. Uh, I I could name, name a few. It doesn't mean, but I I I I like doing what I do. It. I can't. I would love to play in the NBA, but I'm an old man now, and I can't jump. But if I could, if there's what I'm saying is if there's a passion there. Uh, go after it. But you've got the tools with the modern technology to do so many cool things. And I'm having trouble with my friends. Wow, man, what's going on? Oh, you know what? You know what I got to do? I I think I got to do a blot. Uh, I need a blot pad. That's, that's what I need. This is taken. Oh. Is this gonna is this gonna cause trouble? Yeah, this you know what I need to do? I think it's just the we have weird cold weather and my sister ran up. I'm gonna have to do a blot pad. So I'm gonna leave it running. I'm gonna be right back. And you know what? I'm gonna refill uh I'm gonna refill my beverage. So uh talks amongst yourselves and and uh uh wait a minute. I want to leave you with something before I get up. Okay, you know what a cool role I did in high school? I did a play in high school. Uh, and this is theater. And we did Agatha Christie's
What was, oh, what did we do? Agatha Christie's appointment with death. And I played the role of uh, Alderman Higgins. Uh, uh, it, he was a Scottish alderman. And I had so much fun with that. And that's just that, that, you know, that's not, it's nothing, you know, it's just, but it was, it was one of my first like theater roles I did, you know, I was young, I was like 17, 18 and it left a big enough mark on me that I wanted to continue. Uh, so, uh, but I'm going to continue on this point about the voice acting thing. Give me a second. I need to get a blot thing for the ink pens and I want to refill my drink. So just talks amongst your fans, uh, yourselves, cause you guys are awesome. And, and give me two shakes of lamb's tail. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. With a refill of my hooch. All right. Let me. Oh, no, that's not good. We'll get this fixed. Hold on, Nicole. We're going to get this fixed. California is like its own country. This signature is going to look a little... Hold on. We're going to get this fixed. It was working fine, and then it just... I don't know what happened. Hold on. what I can do. All right. This is almost done with the signature. It just got just got wonky on me. I don't We're almost there, Nicole. It, the, the, I'm going to have to switch uh, ink pens all together because I don't know what just happened. Uh, but uh, it's going to—it's actually going to look kind of cool when I'm done. So hold on, hold on a second. These are little issues, little technical issues, and and equipment. I've got, I've got, but I just want you to know, I've got, a, I've got a bevy. I got markers and pens in here. I've got this giant copper cup full of ink pens from the art store. A lot of these are nibs, so I'll be, if we have any problems, 
we can switch what happens. It, it just it, everything got wonky make mid signature. So is, is it okay? What I'm doing um, is I'm I'm holding off because I want to get cast members in first. And the thing about joining. Um, A second. Um, okay, so I'm getting a bunch of questions. Sorry, I guess uh, popped up. Okay, first off, um, yes, I uh, th there are journal orders in the thing. I will be signing the journals. The, w the, the I'm signing the way I'm signing is I'm going in numerical order in the way of, of uh, with Streamly, uh, with what we call the VIP orders. Uh, I have to do those first. So I am doing right now the VIP VIP orders from the date and time in which they were ordered first. That's, that's how Streamly goes, I gotta do those first. Um, there are more uh, regular journal orders in, in the regular orders than there are VIP. So I, I'll be signing anything, but we do have or, uh, sales if you ordered a journal and, and they look, uh, we still have some available, I believe, but this is what they look like. Uh, they're big, they've got the quote on the back and I'll, I'll show you as, as I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit more for Nicole. Thank Nicole, thank you for hanging in with us. Uh, they're blank, they've got like little lines on them, but it's, uh, these are great for if you're in college, your high school and you just need something for physics or algebra it's great for taking notes if you're a gamer it's like this would be great for gaming notes like okay i can write that i need to tame all these horses to get uh the 10th level achievement for uh for the horseman expert for all the you know all the belt and, and holster gear and you can write it down then cross it out you know all kinds of stuff like i oh i'm 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 collecting the same Write cards. I need to make a list of what I have and not to make in here. Uh, but it, it could be for anything. It'd be, you could use it for just notes in a class you're taking, or if you're taking an acting class, that's what you do. Want to take an acting class and use this as your note journal. And I say, why? Why I read that thing is because the actor uh, who plays this character uh, inspired me to be in this very class. Uh, I don't know that's you know, but uh, this is what you know. They're thick, and that's what we got and we've got a few left i will be signing them but the, i'm signing i'm just not signing randomly th uh, things in random order i'm signing them uh i'm going through the vip list first so that's what's being signed and i was doing good until i got to nicole's order and then all the pens died i'm sorry as and as far as signing people on um uh is your bet there you go bachelor's of fine arts a list of my, hey Clay, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna try, we're gonna try this retrace again. I don't know, I, and Nicole, I'm sorry that this is happening. I wanna show you what I did and then you can nay or, you can yay or nay it. Um, it's kind of like the signature blended, but I think it kind of looks cool. And if you don't want to get, we'll, we'll look something out. It's like, like a mix of gold and white. I'm going to just, I'm going to have to switch pens because I don't know why you guys are doing this to me. Wow. My yellows and whites just freaking died. Oh, now, oh, see, now you're working. Jesus. So Nicole, here we go. Tell me if you like this. Look at the whites working. <laughs> you got like a gold and, and white mixture. What about me? Nicole, it's okay. That doesn't sound common. Kind of, uh, do you want me to do something else to it? Are you not happy? I want you to be happy. I'm being very serious. Can, can I draw something. What what about this? Do you not like it? Can I can I make it better? It's fine. It's fine. You're, 
You're just saying you're you're good. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Since I'll write. Oh, see, I let it rest. Now look at that. See, now the white's working fine. Can I show the playing cards? Abs uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm going to do one more thing about this. I'm going to take a, just a, a little break from the actual signing. I'm going to let, I'll let these rest up. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming it's the weather we have here. It is actually uh, chilly. And, and uh, okay. Here we go, Nicole. Nicole, because it took so long, if you want me to add something to that print, just let me know. I'll pick it back up, let it dry, and I'll, and I'll add something for you. Um, I, think it, I, actually, I, I think it looks kind of cool. Like Bob Ross said, it's a happy mistake. Turn it into trees. Um, so, okay, so we've got some playing cards. Uh, here's what we got. Now, some just for someone more on a budget, so lower price. But these are cool. We've got we, what we and and what we have is we have. Uh, I'll show you right here. We have some left of the. These are the official. Right again, the official Red Dead Two playing cards, which they don't sell online anymore at the Rockstar Games warehouse store. Um, but. Um, Celebworks was able to get a hold of some, and I have just a few left because these are hot things that sold out. So I can I, I would sign these in pen uh, just because you know it's fine to be able to see. Uh, but we've got, we've got a few left, and then we've got. Uh, but we also have uh, regular these cool Western playing cards um, that are uh, at, at a lower price. But I can do more with these. See, they they have the sepia tone old kind of like Western style, and they actually have kind of like the dirty look. Um, they're really cool. Um, but yeah, I just uh, individually, I can draw on them. But we've got uh, we've got a lot of playing cards left. And we do have some orders for the playing cards. But the, the official Red Dead 2 playing cards, I think we only have a few left. What I just had in my hand is because uh, we've been we've been selling out. So if you want to get one order now, you just uh, – like I said, just like it's on the list along with the prints and the journals. You just go to the link tree, click, click the link. Uh, they, are, they are cool. I'm glad you like it. Um, okay. Wait, let me, who's, who is next on the VIP list? Greg Gobera. Gregory, are you with us? Greg, are you? Because Greg, I'll get you next. You're up, you're, you're up to bat, buddy. And Greg, uh, because he likes it, Greg is getting one of these. Oh, I... Do I sign the whole deck if, if people buy the individual cards? Uh, I mean, if I sell out, I'm technically I'm signing the whole deck, but it's it's mixed cards. It's not like I'm, I'm not selling a whole deck in the thing. I'm selling individual cards. If you happen to buy every card, then I guess I'm selling the deck uh, that way. But I, the reason I'm doing that is it's, it's um, some people just on a budget want something signed, but on, on a lower price, uh, we offer the cards. So, yes. Silver, I think I just answered that. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically signing. You, I'm signing one card. Um, well, you can one card per person. If you if you want to, you can order multiples, and I I could I can sign. You know, I can sign five. Uh, as far as like multiple prints and stuff, and as far as uh, special packages, like if you see, it, we've got the redemption package, and what that is is like. Um, for $100, I will sign uh, uh, a hodgepodge mix match of any five prints uh, sort of, like, of what I have. And I can make one each individually. Um, 
like if you're on the live now and, and you and uh, or you could order uh, you could you could break it down and tell me what you want on each or or we could do it here in live but we do we do have that option we do have the redemption package for 100 um, and you get you get you get five you get five prints signed and it can all go out, out to you one could go out to you the other four could go out to friends or family uh, all for 100 don't we don't have any cards with the characters those were the first to go like those are long gone those are long gone <laughs> um i i have my own private deck that the the the, the red tin box and the blanket all the casts got a, a care package when the game came out and i'm not selling those those are those are my with my red dead uh uh my lighter and my can opener no one's don't, i don't I'm not even opening that. That's my that's my gift to myself. But I Celebworks had uh, acquired additional decks and 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 uh, for conventions that the cast the uh, us members who were with Celebworks. But we've we've those were like the first thing to go. And the fact that I have any left is like a miracle. So if you want them, now's the time to get them. Any other questions? Are you guys having fun? Are we having fun? I just want to know if we're having fun. Someone's like, why aren't you playing any music in the background? Well, I'm going to post these videos, and I don't want to deal. Uh, and I don't want to deal uh, with the copyright. Because you, you, you want to see these videos, obviously. Um... Yay, having a blast. All right, I, here's what I'm going to do, because I, I need to, oh. Well, here, all right, this goes out to x Malik or anyone. Let's, let's talk about that, because uh, what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to sign this thing for Gregory. I'm going to answer your question, and what I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video. So this will be first package. And I'm going to, and I'm going to take a 10 minute break. And this will be the first post. And then we'll sign on live because, you know, as we do, you've seen Roger do it. We break them up through the day. That way, everyone, if, if you want something signed, but something came up and you, you couldn't watch the post, you can go back and play. So I will be posting all this. But uh, I'll do one more thing to answer your question. I'll post a vid and then we'll start the second part of this, this day thing here. Um, XMALC, let me, I'm going to try to answer this the best way you can. And I know that, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are fans with the cast. You, you follow stuff. And, 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 and Roger made an interesting post this week about the actor versus voice actor, his post about the Avatar cast. And I know people, I, let's, I mean, we'll talk about it because it's, I mean, I, I think that people, uh, everyone saw it. But, uh because Ned Luke chimed in and stuff. And and I thought Roger would be on because I didn't know what to talk about it. But I want to I, I want to clear I, since you're here, I'm going to I want to clear something up for you guys watching. Um, you as fans mean the absolute world to us. You mean the absolute world to us. We wouldn't we wouldn't be successful. The game wouldn't be successful without you liking what we did. And, and you buying the game and showing up to the conventions and it, 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 it we couldn't do it without you. We made a good product, but the audience also has to propel it. So it's, it's a hand in hand thing. Um, the whole thing, as far as being an actor and the terminology and voice actor in no way is that, is, 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 is that ever meant to, to make you fans feel uh, feel diminished, and if and, and I'll tell you what, if if I've made a post or said something, um, uh, the the last thing I want to do is 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 consciously hurt the feelings of the fan. I never I never try to do that. If I have to, if if someone's being a little, you know, saying something on a chat and they're just another fan, and I got to mediate. 
I don't want to, I, I want, don't want it to happen in the first place, but I also don't want bullying and I don't want stuff to happen. But as far as, you know, um, I think when it comes down to uh, the thing with saying, well, voice acting, I, 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 if you call me a voice actor, because people do, it's like, oh, you, you voice in that. I don't sit there. I don't, I don't get mad. And, and, and a lot of people are like, well, I don't, I don't understand what the hullabaloo, hullabaloo is about or what, what's, what's all the, the, you know. No, and, and, and Cole, you, we, the, here's, here's what the point I'm getting to is you're like, well, what's he blabbering about? Um, uh, people, how, how do you get into acting? I look at it, when I auditioned for the first Red Dead game, I wasn't going into, I don't go into an audition as a, it's, to me, it's, it's acting. It's all acting. And, and there are people who do both really well. Andy Circus does performance capture. He's done voiceover. And he is awesome in the MCU as, as Ulysses Claw. I think I, he's, he's, he's done it all. He's called an actor. Um, and, 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 and some people choose to be called voice actors because they want, and that's, that's fine. They're like, well, I, I call myself voice because I'm, I'm marketing myself specifically and I really like doing this particular avenue. And that's fine. And, 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 and I've gotten in, in not purposely heated debates, but talk about friends, uh, to friends who speak voice who are great. Um, but it, but you know, we're able to chuck about a uh, chuckle about it afterwards and say, well, this this actually makes a very interesting debate. Um, I think what happens in this though is that the terminology, the nomenclature, does matter. So, in fact, is it, 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 I don't want to like ever, like I said, I don't harp on you guys if it sounds like we get all in a t no, those Reddit guys get a tissy if they say voice actors. You know what it is? Is that the people in charge in the industry, a lot of them feel like, and, and, and it was a lot of people in charge, and somebody's changing, because. Uh, but, but the people who make the decisions to have the power, a lot of them are just kind of bean counters. And they hear the term voice actor. And they will think, well, we need a, we need a, they're, they're just a voice. They think of it as lesser than. I know you guys don't, but there's certain people that have power in the industry, people that have make decisions. Some of the decisions they make are not good. And they'll, they don't, they don't look at it as an actor. Now you can debate, it's like, well, we want to do this. And we kind of want star power to sell a thing. I get that. I get that, but there is this unsaid thing where the, there's a term voice actor and, and, and not with fellow actors, but with just people and people making decisions that, that we jokingly call, they're just bean counters. Um, will will look at a, a, someone termed as a voice actor is lesser than. Doesn't open up, doesn't happen all the time it but it happens more frequently than it should because i think that an actor is an actor is an actor and there are people that 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 will get, get looked over because of it and we and and it has cost some of us jobs um and other opportunities come up and it's like i i you know i'm not going to complain because that's how you're going to hear more no you're going to hear more no's and yeses you'll hear a thousand no's and maybe one yes and then that yes is the victory because that's how this business is. It's very tough. It's it's very tough. You want to know how to get in this business? You got to have a tough skin. You got to love. You got to love it no matter what, and you got to have the toughest skin. And it's hard. It's hard. Hard. Um, but I think that I think when, what Roger was saying, and if you read all the threads in that, and 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 it did kind of get heated, but it but Roger loves you guys. He. We all do. We we think you fans are great. We care about you, and 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 and, and we're not sitting here in corner and going, oh those those stupid fans. And no, it's not. It's it's. But it's if, if we're if we're getting in a room together and, and griping, we're griping how how the structure of the industry sees or doesn't see what we're doing. Um, 
And that's on them. It's not on you. So I just kind of wanted to clear that up. I, I, I can speak from, I can only speak for myself if, if Roger is able to come in later and talk, but uh, all these questions seem to connect to that. And I, I, I wanted to take, I'm choosing to take the time to address it. Um, it it's, it, it may be a, not a white elephant or a pink elephant to some, but it was me. And I was like, Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to address it. Um, but I like the term, I like the term actor, but again, there's some actors that, that, that fit in and they, they'll say, no, it's say voice actor and stuff. Cause that's their choice. They're like, I'm choosing to market myself and that's fine. And it's, 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 it's like I say, it's different limbs of the same anatomy. Um, but an actor, I just don't, my thing is, I don't like, I know people that market themselves as voice actors, but they're also really good actors. And I don't want the industry, because if they get a chance to audition or get a, something where they're on camera and they're perfect for the role, I don't want some person in charge that doesn't, that this only listens to the terminology and doesn't have enough creative sense in their brain to overlook a great talent. That's what pisses us off. That, that's just like us as the Red Dead group. That a lot of actors go through that. But I, I think is, um, you look at Chris Pratt. He does great as Star Lord. He's been in other films. He's also voiced like he did. He did the Pixar movie with Tom Holland. He's done the Lego movies. That was voiceover. You don't call him a. You don't call him a, a voice actor. You say the actor. So my thing is just it's just one of those things there. Um, you know, I, I see an actor who does voiceover and stuff. And, and, and that's awesome, too. I, I've done both. And I, I, I love work. I have fun. I, I have fun regardless. So I think it's all great. But I think where the hem and haw comes from that post and, and, and what we've dealt with is that it's, it's not the terminology as mo so much as the perception of it. Uh, and, and we just don't want to we don't want to lose out of work, you know, because everyone asking is I would love, I love Red Dead. I'd love to see you more and it's like yeah we would too we don't want to be cut out of anything we don't want to get you know uh necessarily pigeonholed um but that's that's what it is but I wanted to bring it up because I read in that post the comments where it seems like things got heated where where people were like oh I feel like you're attacking us if that's what it sounded like then we we're sorry we 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 adore you guys I, I, I adore you fans head to toe. And if any, and, 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 and I know there's been other posts in the last several months that get into that. I seem to offend people. It wasn't my intention. And I had to look back and kind of learn where things were and then take a step back. Um, but I, 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 we care about all you guys. We care about all you guys. And uh, thank you, Patty artist. Well, that it's it's i it's it's it, it's it's not the fans i don't say it's the fans responsibility because i've seen it's like what's it making it the fans responsibility it's like no 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 it, 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 it's the plain thing to fans all we're saying is is like we love you guys regardless we call you as long as you still you call us anything call, but if you can understand what we're going through and you want to you want to help is, is 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 just make sure that you know, make sure that we're, we, we get the, you know, we get the fair shake for our work. We, that, that people know what, what we did. It's not like we got in a booth and, and, and some people don't know, and that's okay. And, and, and anyway, my point being is, is that um, we're artists and, 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 and we would be successful artists if commerce wasn't involved and you like the product <clears throat> and we benefit from it. And it means because we it, it, you didn't buy you didn't buy in the garbage. You, we we worked hard on it, something that has substance, and we'd like to do more stuff like that. But we just hope that certain terminology doesn't limit us. Um, but then again, sometimes you just got to prove your worth. And they don't. And it's not what you did for me yesterday; it's what you do today. And I'm 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 not shy. I will uh, I will audition. You know, I, I I'd like to be in Patty's next film. It's got a different production group. Uh, if and if I have to send an audition to, to do it, I will do it. I will do it because I, I, I uh, cause I'm an actor, I'm an artist and, uh,
that answers some questions. That's it takes a lot. It's it, <laughs> there's a there's you need patience. You want to become an actor, a voice actor, anything, you're gonna need patience. You will need patience because it, it's just constant like head scraping and butting on a speckle wall sometimes, but it's okay. I love you guys, by the way. Hey, Mikey's on. Let me read some of these comments. I'm going to sign. Uh, I'm going to sign Greg's thing, and then I'm going to stop the video and post this, and then we'll move on to the next bit, okay? That Grace2604, it's important to respect people's personal preferences and not assume that because you're personally comfortable with something, that doesn't mean someone else is. That, well, you know what? That's a, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Artist is a much better term from our Lulu director, Patty. Yeah. I, well, well I, listen, I think this is, I'm just trying to, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Nicole J. Yes. And I, I should say, we can't forget, uh, Mikey Casey, our co-director um, uh, of Lulu. I don't. I just like I talked to Patty so much, and he's there. He's co-director, but he he is director on this next thing. Uh, and 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 I'd like to, if if I, like I was saying, if I have to if I have to audition uh, uh, to be part of it, I, I would happily audition. I'm not I'm not a, I'm not above or beyond that. But yes. I'm just, Michael J. Casey is with us. He is our co-director of Lulu and the Electric Dreamboat. And he's the head writer. He's the one that wrote this baby. Um, and, and Mikey is, uh, I cannot wait. I cannot, uh, I cannot wait. But without such dedicated artists, we wouldn't feel so strong about the product. Well, it's 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 a hand in hand thing. It's a hand in hand thing. Well, th thank you, Jez Kitty. No, 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 it's okay. But again, I, and, and I and I, uh, you know, I'll, and also a lot of our fans are just young, and 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 they don't mean harm by it. So I don't want to think like they could come across it in their mind as this is. This is honest adulation, and then you got some old guys grumpy and it's like, "Well, what I do?" And it's like that—that's not fair because you you don't know what angle you're coming from. That's so why I'm just taking this moment to explain about all that. But but we 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 care very immensely about our fans, and We gotta remember that we are all humans, famous way, et cetera. We all make mistakes and we all have misunderstandings. Well, that is true, that is true. That is true. No, and, th and me bringing this out, I'm not placing blame on, on any, well, I guess maybe I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is maybe the, the higher ups, the decision makers should learn, should learn the terminology and what that, what the, and, and what that, what that really means. But yeah, I, I, Patty, you said best artists, we should just become either just say actors or artists or whatnot. Um, but then again, like I said, there are people that embrace the voice acting term and because they do, it pigeonholes them where they're constantly working. That's also not wrong. And, and I also want, you also have to respect their, their decision for that. Cause you, you don't, you don't want to phrase it as though like, well, you're, calling yourself a voice actor but you're doing it wrong no no there it's it's not like really right or wrong it's it's it but it's like i just, i just don't want anyone left out because sometimes because of terminology uh, uh and perception people get kind of left left out and missed opportunities and that's not right uh, uh i don't know it can be cured overnight but you can start making a little amends to slowly but surely fix it um, anyway, I'm okay, Gavin. Uh, you guys are great. Mike, uh, Michael J. Casey, did you want to jump on real quick?
I, 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 I'm Gavin. I'm seeing it. I don't want to ignore you, but I'll get you on here if you if you wanted to if you wanted to jump on. Oh, uh, can you guys hear me? Someone said they couldn't, they couldn't hear me. Is the sound good? Oh, my, do you want to join? Can you guys, can you guys hear me? Someone said they can't hear me anymore. Was is there a blip? If you can hear me clear, send an emoji of an orange, of the orange fruit. Can yep, yes, you can. We can hear you. Okay. Loud and clear. Um, oh, I have one. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to sign this. We'll get, we'll bring a uh, co-director of Lulu and Electric Dream Boat uh, and, and the, the uh, head writer, Michael J. Casey, with us. Is he, hold on, did he send it in I haven't, I got a request to join. Maybe he's maybe he's getting a drink. Let me let me take care of Gregory's print before I get one. I know it's like see this is this is excuse me, I just burped. I did you hear that it was loud. This is uh we're getting all the oranges. Okay, you guys can hear me. Um This is why I made this two days, because I can get long I can gab and fill up time and blah blah blah. And then hours will go by and then it's like, oh, we're running out of time. So this is why I'm doing this all weekend. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying being here with uh, with all you. Okay, I guess. All right, Greg. Okay, I can. I can do that. Uh, again, Greg uh, Gregory uh, Goybera, he's getting the classic. Again, this is my most popular print. The the like wanted poster, Bill Sepiatone. This is my most popular print. If you like it and you're good, you like it. Uh, hold on a second. I'm just checking stuff. I'm trying to answer the private, trying to answer everyone's questions. Uh, beyond, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, that's okay, Mikey. I'm going to, I'm going to sign this. We're going to chat and then we're going to take a 10 minute break as I post this video uh, as requested. And then we're going to go to round two. All right. Am I spelling this right? Boy. Yeah. See, now I gave it a rest. Now it's working beautifully. So sometimes I may just have to take a break and, uh, and, and let, the, let the pen just have a breather. Now I didn't want to... I'll do it. Well, I'll do a quick little. Uh, I'll do a quick quote, which I always do. So, Greg, um, you didn't want anything too, too fancy. We got the the uh, marker working in your favor. Uh, finally, uh, Gregory Gobira, Gobira, Gobira. Uh, it's a work smart. Because that's what you got to do. So there you go, sir. Uh, you, and that'll be the last signature of this video. 
we're going to get Mikey on. And I see that he's putting a crust. So let me put this in the, let me put this in the ink dry section. And then we'll get Mikey on. Uh, hold on. Let me just check something, folks. Hold on one second. Let's check the VIP list. Is this, is this a, oh, Abaca, A-B-B-I-C-A. Special instructions. If you'll write your favorite quote from the Red Dead series, either by you or any other character, whichever one is your favorite. I can put someone else's quote. Oh, let me do that. Let me switch it up. Uh, you'll be next. So the next video, Abaca, we're going to start with you. But before we do that, uh, and before I take my little stretch break, and then uh, we're going to post this, this video from the last two hours. Hold on. That was loud. We're going to bring on our co-director of Lulu in the Electric uh, Dreamboat and head writer, Michael J. Casey. We're going to bring him on now. Nope, whoop, wrong one. Hold on. Give me a second. Is he ready? Boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Ahoy, ahoy. How do you, man? Hey! Off the track. What's going on? What's going on? I just want... Now, Mikey, I want to say, uh, I had Patty on earlier, and we were talking about the next Ooh, film very he's working fun. on. And I was saying just... So, so if I... Said where I, I didn't introduce you as co-director, I am wholeheartedly apologize because you are you're our head writer, and that's not to be forgotten. But we were just basically talking about yeah. the next film he's doing, and maybe having me and if I had to audition for it, I'd be willing to audition because yeah. Um, yeah. I just want to get back to Limerick. That's that's really what the, I'm trying to get back to you. Is what I'm you're always welcome <laughs> on the couch here, man. <laughs> you can crash on that. <laughs> What, so how how have you how have you been? Um, I don't know if you saw uh, Patty on earlier, but yeah. he gave his update uh, with Lou, and I didn't know. Uh, basically, saying that you were just taking extra um, yeah. extra time with the sound edits and the sound, so that all the bass sound a thousand percent, all the great uh, Irish and Limerick based rock and punk yeah. bands that are contributing to a great soundtrack. Um, is there is there anything cool you wanted to uh, add as far as a Lulu um, yeah, dream no, just, it, it is common. It's just taking some time, you know, good things take time. Um, and it's a very good thing, thankfully. Um, yeah. We're watching different, uh, the picture lock, basically, was watching that. And uh, it's a really good movie. It's uh, it, it works. It, thank God it works because um, weird scripts to try bring to life but um no it seems to be going well and um i'm delighted to have max on doing the sound and you know barry's been working away on the grade and the vfx as has patty and patty's put in hours and hours into the editing god love him <laughs> so you know it's, it's all going well um and yeah no, the movie looks great it's just uh it's gonna take take some time but uh we're gonna get there and um, we're we're closer than we were before, definitely. So. That is well. That I'm sure that's what everyone wants to hear. Is like how how far away? And and my whole thing with it was is like sure we we always you would always like to have in your yeah. head the perfect finished product and then out sooner or later. But this is one of those things where it's it's just turned into it's like every extra edit or it's gone over again and, and everything's fine tuned things yeah. are just little moments are discovered and, and and cleaned up and it's it's this very cool thing it's kind of like if, if we got to sit on this a little bit longer it's worth sitting on because it's um uh, it's something kind of cool like um unique. it's you know and especially the movie is so um music focused and stuff like that where um we really need the sound to be spot on like you know and um thankfully we have some incredibly in, like both on and off screen as you know we had so many incredible talented people working on, on the film you know and um i mean everyone everyone shines in it like you know there's not um there's no weak part there's no weakest link um the whole cast the whole crew it, it all comes through like in the movie is such a um 
it has such a just a drive a passion behind it like you know you, you can tell that it it was made out of um it's rough and ready and it's it's made out of love and it's made out of just pure uh undying let's do this like you know <laughs> i mean I I was very I was very honored to last uh, in November of 2021. I was very honored to take part in it, and that that trip uh, was something that uh, yeah, yeah, especially coming out of the COVID year, that that thing that was just, just so yeah. replenishing for the spirit. And uh, I, I I it's like it's it's so locked into my conscious it's it's amazing how what what a great experience it was and i'm 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 if i get a chance to come back uh very much oh, uh very much would enjoy it, it would be, like, it'd be like, know, wow. um, i was i was only talking with dara yesterday i was hanging out with dara and we were talking about it and um you know just like what you you did for the movie and how like you took a character which at script level is ridiculous and over the top and very slapstick and you manage to like keep that insane energy to the character but you also created him into more of a um like, like he's less of a cartoon he's very human and there's that scene uh towards the end where it's like you're gunning for that um that best supporting nom <laughs> i'm telling you that like you know the oscars will be seeing it and uh the emotion you put through, like you're, just, you're I, one of those actors who's just a dream to work with. Like you know, anything we sent you as director, you were so on board. You're on board for trying out stuff, and you brought so much to it as well. Considering it's such a wacky character, like you know. Well, it, it was it was fun. I you I can only bring my ideas, yeah. but I'd love to be directing because I like something will be discovered that. It just happens and just it just happenstance something will happen or like oh, that was a moment we weren't expecting because that was a sometimes a goof will happen where you know a yeah. prop will unexpectedly fall or someone will catch it and it's like yeah is that supposed to happen that that works and no one talked no one yeah. and just kept going and then this thing becomes this thing and it's that in now it's yeah just things like it's just one of those things where it's just when you're 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 in the zone, you're in the flow. Um, I liked being directed. Um, sometimes I, I I was given opportunity. I just it's like, hey, can we? Yeah, I I have an idea. Can we try it? And then we did. It's like, oh god. Um, but we there there was a lot there was a lot that was filmed, different takes and stuff, and 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 so many moments oh, were created. And it's all about it's like. We're not going to be able to use everything, but we have enough selection where this story that has heart exactly. will be still be yeah. told in the proper way. It does eclipses one, one where it all it all connects hand in hand, and I, and I'm looking forward to, to I'm looking forward to people seeing the the final thing. It's something. Um, if anything, we had such a great experience. I think most cast and crew were very proud. We're yeah. very proud of the work that we put in and the time that I adored that time. No, a hundred percent. And like, you know, definitely, I think all their cast and crew, I, I hope when they all get to see it, that they will be very proud of what they put in. Cause you know, like everything in the film, like everyone gave it a hundred percent. Like, um, what, one that just keeps bringing to mind, like, you know, Sinead Morrissey is amazing in the movie. And, you know, that was her first, like, um, uh, a film role. I know she'd done like a few shorts and stuff in college, but that was her first kind of set. Uh, you know, it's technically a professional, <laughs> even though it's made very crazily. But no, um, no, we, like Sinead is incredible in the movie. Clara's fantastic in the movie. There's like my favorite scene of the film is it's uh, I won't go into spoilers, but it's just a scene of the two of them talking, and it was oh, it was just incredible. Like it's yeah. Everyone put in their all and getting to work with so many new people and you, you know the likes of Owen Colgan and the likes of yourself and Francis and then getting to work with people I've worked with before like James Rogan and Jack Hayes, Shane Joyce and just seeing them all bring their A game 
you know like the there isn't one person who didn't give it 110 percent. you know even um my good buddy derek who would have worked on uh all of my films actually has always had derek in and um you and him have that scene at the Battle of the Bands together where um, he disrespects your wife <laughs> and you disrespect him back. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. we don't want to spoil it, but uh, it's this one, I, I think what I think what works is that whether it's a comedic moment, it's a little scene or this or that, um, you and Patty you let when we're in the middle of a scene, no matter what would what would go, you know, uh, you would you would each scene, yeah. you would just let it breathe. You would just let because the 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 town, the city of Limerick, is is kind of like in a way well, it's, also it's a main the character. character of the film. The, the, of these cathedrals and everything that the, that that city has to offer, and the River Shannon and stuff, that is this this pulsating, this beating pulse of the movie. It's 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 a it's a character of, amongst itself, and you let us the 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 I'd say the best character in the movie that we that right. each of us act with is the city itself. You we let this. It's like this dance. And and it's and and the location is is, is mm. paramount in this particular storytelling, and I think that um, you let you let, let that yeah. those relationships breathe, and it's going to and it's going to show, and people will be a lot yeah. more curious about Limerick, Ireland. Uh, uh, I, I certainly am. I I I I'm, I I did. I went to museums. I did touring. I learned about the history. I went to castles. Um, you know, and it was just, it just like really just opened my mind. And it was, it's like this, this is a very interesting, this place has so much history. Yeah. Um, it, and, uh, and, you know, it was one of those things where, um, like when I was writing the movie, you know, it was never going to be said anywhere else other than Limerick. And, um, it was, it was so easy to write Limerick because it's so just, you know, it's just, it's what you see in the film. It's that mad mix of um, incredibly talented and artistic people. And there's also that mix of the, you know, it is a city. It's very rush, rush, rush. And it's rushing to nothing because then it's, there's the lull, there's the quiet. And, um, you know, like all the, the passerbys and stuff who walk on through. Like uh, what was what's beautiful is um, in one scene where characters are busking, there are actors and extras who walk past and say stuff and then there's also real people who are just like passing by and making some smart comment like um we were we were filming <laughs> yeah. the first that seat was the first that, day and, that, 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 when we were filming the first day this fellow was walking past and in the middle of a scene as we we're saying lines he just turns to me and he goes if you see me walking, step aside. Many men didn't. Many men died. And then he like nodded at the camera and walked off. <laughs> and I was like, Barry, please tell me we have that. Please tell me we have that. <laughs> and it's you know, it's like that's that's Limerick City, like you know, it's just it's it's ridiculous, it's wacky, and it's so it's so fun. It's so fun to bring it to scream and not show it the way it's been shown a lot of the time because in a lot of media it's always shown as nearly like another Gotham City kind of you know where it's like the sun never shines in Limerick and everyone's miserable and and it's nothing but crime and sadness and misery and you know Frank McCourt bastard ruined the place and it's just um it's nice being able to show the modern Limerick on camera and actually have it feel and act and look like how it is in reality, you know, and taking these, it's really is, it's the only place you could set the film because taking these wacky characters, you know, it's like, oh, there's no way they'd exist. And then if you go to Limerick, you're like, actually, they definitely exist. Yes, like um, even that post you made when you were over, 
and you saw two punk kids walking like outside the castle where we were filming and you were like oh look Lulu and the electric dream about a reel <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, yeah. I was uh by St. John's Castle, I was getting a, 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 yeah. a plane at uh, Katie Daly's, and I was, and at first, um, because I think I had the afternoon off, I saw him, and I thought it was you and Sinead, and I'm like, oh, are you guys filming a reporter, a scene I wasn't aware of? Because I was going <laughs> to go over and say hi, and then not the two of you, it's just a random <laughs> thing, and I started filming, and I'm like, oh, so now we're going to face these characters up, and you're just like, this is yeah. really a limerick story. This is these characters based on reality. And I'm like, oh, I believe it because you're right yeah. there. They're everywhere. Here you are. <laughs> They're absolutely everywhere. The the punks are limerick. They're all out, over the place. <laughs> and if I think, I think if people, I posted on Instagram, so if people go back on my Instagram history to November of 2021, yeah. they'll see the picture of. of in front of the castle it's like yeah that's that's not I, i'm not behind the scenes those are just two random people yeah. <laughs> that where art becomes life uh, uh that was funny that was a funny day uh but yeah you know mikey i'm i'm very excited uh for uh for lulu and and, and hopefully uh it'll it it will get it will get uh the sound uh edit the sound we'll mix, get there uh, will get uh finished and i think that not only are people going to enjoy the movie, but they're really, really oh, yeah. the soundtrack, which I, I, didn't, I don't think anyone realized what a cool nugget that was. It's like, we've got like a really cool yeah. soundtrack of, of a real, yeah. uh, Irish, like limerick based, like rock and punk that. Yeah. Helping tell a story. Like the, the original oh tracks, God. which uh, Jacob Wolf and Jared Naden composed, and the score that they composed is all fantastic. And you know, like um, it works so well then with the other music that we have in the film, like um, the the, the band Point Taken, which is also Jared and Jacob's band, uh, Fox Jaw, who make a cameo in the movie, uh, the Hitchers. You know, um, so many of these just iconic bands. Well, Ultra Midian and the Realists, these fantastic limerick based bands and the fact that we were able to get like all of them is just it's you know it, it really it makes the film I, I don't think it could be done without limerick musicians you know I think um, if we were to put oh if it was oh yeah you have the licensing you can use like Sex Pistols or you know Green Day any any these kind of bands I'd be like no keep it with the limerick ones you know it it works it helps the story it makes it more unique and more true to you know true to limerick yeah. like I, I i i i'm i'm very looking forward to finishing the uh, seeing the final oh, yeah. the final edit i'm i'm looking for because you you know We've all said, I was like, well, we, we do want to get this submitted to festivals. And like, I see, we, we want to see each other again. We want to do some traveling and hanging out. So hopefully this will be the year. But but um, the, the the holdups, not I'm going to say hangups, but just the, the delays yeah. to give it the extra love and care it needs are completely understandable because we, we, we want to deliver this in the best, crispest, and cleanest version of this great piece of storytelling that we can and it'll, it'll it's 100 percent. It, it's going to be worth the wait and we're going to we're going to be happy for, for it and and i can't wait to start promoting it because it's going to be a I'm, lot of fun I'm I'm like, I wait, um, i am, just can't wait to get into that run up yeah. um only a few weeks back there i was at the premiere of another limerick filmmakers feature uh steve hall's his name he made a film called the gates a horror film and when i was there you know, I, I was like, oh god! I was like, I do not know how he's holding it together because when it comes to the Lulu premiere, I will be vomiting and <laughs> shaking, and uh, you know, I can't wait for people to see it. But also, I'm like, oh god, that's gonna be terrifying <laughs> sitting down <laughs> watching it with people. And uh, but no, hopefully people will like it, and hopefully um, everyone will enjoy it as much as uh, as much as we enjoyed making it and 
as much as um as much as the film deserves because um it is not to blow my own horn here but it is definitely a great film <laughs> and um easily the best thing that I've ever wrote and I'm so thankful to the likes of yourself for coming on board and the likes of Healthy Badger Media especially Paddy Murphy for picking up the film and helping give it life we I really couldn't have made the film without Paddy and um I, I appreciate him greatly for everything he's put into the film and everyone everyone um Sinead Clara Francis, all of you, everyone who made the story come to life. It, you know, it's truly humbling to see so many people believe yep. in in your story and your idea and bring it to life. You know. Well, we believe it. Was, I believe, and it was just it's 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 great work, and and uh, I think a lot of people are going to get it. They're right. gonna get a big, a big kick out of it. And the best part of uh, the best part, Lee, well, my is friend, uh, Keen O'Brien on that set is now one of my best friends. So uh, thanks again, Paddy, for bringing Keen on as script yeah. supervisor. Because I love that man. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I met, I met some, I met some very, very cool people that I think, uh, I think of extremely highly that I hope to see again sooner and later. And so if. Uh, yeah, so if, like I told Patty, if if there's a role in his next film, uh, uh, that yeah, I'll yeah, <laughs> you know where to find me, you know, and I'll, if he needs me to audition for it. I will do it. But I read, yeah, I read the script. It's good. Is it? Is it as good as Very Lulu? Different. Very it's different. different. It's it's different. Not just terrible thing. I'll do that one too, but also I oh, want to go stop. football with you guys again. <laughs> um, Any excuse to get out there and have the and go back to yeah, uh, Dirty Nellies and uh, when you're back, just, go over for the premiere. We'll be time. doing a pub crawl. Um, if you're wondering why I'm looking a bit the way I am, I'm currently uh, hanging from a pub crawl last night. <laughs> so um, I got my I got my berries tea here, though, keeping us keeping us fueled. I got, I have a I have a, 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 a berries uh, in my cup uh, just because I I you 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 converted me in November. Yeah. You guys converted berries tea and potato sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget that day of just everyone on everyone had, said stop what they were doing just to watch me crisps. <laughs> And I laughed, and then I had one, and I was like, yeah. hey, "Stop making fun of the. Other. We're doing it. Yeah. We're we're wrong." We're yeah. wrong. <laughs> no, it's so wrong. funny. We're like, because we were in the middle of setting up for um, we we were doing a hefty night that night. Actually, we were shooting about like five or six year scenes, I think, in in one go. And um, yeah, like I remember Barry, oh, yeah, uh, were... Barry Smith and Barry Fahey were setting up like the tripods and. The the lights and Martin Nee was, you know, bringing in gear, and suddenly Matt Blaney was like, "Shh!" and everyone just stopped and looked, and you like had the first bite of the crisps, and it was just the whole crew stopped what they were doing to watch you eat the crisps, and fucking Shane Joyce being like, "Dara, Dara, get the camera! He's eating!" It was like, "Get the BTS on him! He's eating crisps!" The Americans <laughs> he's gonna, gonna, he's gonna eat do the it. <laughs> And it was, yeah. And the 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 potato chips, the 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 crisp, you call them out there, they they had a different yeah. flavor. And I, what is it? And then I found it yeah. said they're made in sunflower seed oil. And that there's something peaty about. There's just something that like that just adds a flavor because I was like, whoa, 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 what? It, it's uh, if you. If you're American, you've never had it a, a, a crisp, or we call them as a potato chip, cooked in sunflower seed oil, yeah. has a very good, unique flavor. And it, any, any chip had, and like my eyes popped out of my head, and everyone in the cast and crew was just like, what? Oh, God, what, what have we done? And so, berries, tea, <laughs> and one of us. What? I got chipped. 
it's in my beard. And... Oh, 100%. Um, I'll have to send you over a care uh, package. <laughs> so... And I also, so I, since I came mm. back, I, I had one. I had one, and that's it. I cannot drink Guinness in the States anymore since, since I had it because it doesn't travel well. Yeah. I, I've got. Irish, there's a, uh, or there's a, a British pub in town yeah. on Ventura Boulevard that I frequent, and uh, and and they have Smithics yeah. on tap, and it tastes fine. Guinness, it doesn't travel. Well, does no. not travel or age well. Get it when you get it in Ireland. If you get Guinness in the states and you love Guinness, try it off the tap in Ireland. It is completely. It's yeah. like. They, we're, again, we're they say it. that the best points of Guinness split. that you'll get in the world is in Ireland and in Nigeria because there's a Guinness factory in Nigeria as well, so it's proper fresh Guinness there as well. Because again, it yeah. doesn't travel well, you know, it does not. Like yeah. It. No. yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know that until I went to I tried it. He's like, oh, they're right. We're doing, <laughs> we're, we're doing something wrong because it doesn't. It yeah, doesn't. Yeah. It's still drinkable, but when you like oh my god yeah. no! I'm gonna it's I want like, to drink it's this. It's like now. Uh, once you once you try it, you yeah. can't it can't be undone, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god! So I, I I love going down memory lane with you, and I'm looking forward to us to adding to that canvas and creating new memories at the screening yeah. or working on another project. But my that that time I had in November of 2021 is still very very sacred to me. And I, uh, I can't believe crazy. it's been over a year since. Oh, over a year since since, uh, since we all went and watched Ghostbusters together. <laughs> no. the... Yeah, we we went to uh, yeah. see Ghostbusters Afterlife yeah. together. That was our. It was it was great. And I the thing is is I never saw Ghostbusters Afterlife mm. again in the theater. And I wanted to, but I, such that was such a beautiful moment yeah. we had. That that was the cast and party. Yeah, was, I didn't, didn't want to taint that. Yeah, I was like, I was, saw. It was a lot of fun that um that and, night. It was we were all sitting uh down in Herder's Bar having a few points, and it, we were all kind of looking like uh that last scene in oh what is it, Pineapple Express, <laughs> where they're all you know bloody and sweating and tears rolling down, sitting around. But uh, because that was a, uh, I mean the amount of of work that we got done in those um in that fourteen day shoot is insane. Like, you know, um but we did it. <laughs> we did it and it's we we did it and yeah. we had we had fun doing it and we got it done and and no one uh badly no one got, no hurt. One got hurt too badly. And uh <laughs> yeah. things where I I I, I, uh, I was very very part, uh, very honored to be part of part of it in many, many facets as, a, yeah. as a, a executive producer and and acting just just as a person on the sidelines watching some of the takes and what it's just it's just yeah. being with so much fun and and I want to I want to I want to well, get back. We'll, we'll be seeing you soon, hopefully. Anyway, and um, who knows who knows what that what thing. will be in the future as well. We. We'll, well, I 100% want to work with you again. Um, may too little, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Oh no, no, <laughs> no, too little, please. <laughs> we'll we'll yeah. we'll see we'll see what comes. But sometimes sometimes you don't yeah. uh, sometimes you don't know, and that's okay. But I mean, that's if... that's. Z. If That's Lulu, the magic. Make, if Lulu is, makes a, a rake load of money and I'm handed a check saying, "Here's a rake load of money to go make a sequel," I'll be like, "Yeah, let's let's shit out a sequel. Let's do it." <laughs> but uh, we, you never, you never know. You never know, my friend. Well, look, I, yeah. I will, I will, I will say, I love you, my friend. It's good to you, and we will keep in touch. And uh, thank no you so worries. much for the for the update. And I. What I'm going to do, friends, is I'm going to I'm going to take a, a a break. This this section, this first hour and a half of the stream, I'm going to post. I'm going to post it as a feature since I got you and Patty as 
update on the official the official Lulu in the Electric Dreamboat Instagram. Yeah. Because I guess people have been, been asking. been asking. He's like, what's going on? We're yeah. going to bring them on, and this will count as the update. Because a lot of the people getting portraits today yeah. are part of the charter. They want to know. And I'm like, we're, we're yeah. not sitting on it. It's happening. We're just we're just fine tuning it. We're fixing it and doing all that stuff. So it, it's 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 in good hands. It'll be worth the wait. And I think yeah. people are going to be very right. excited. I'll see you soon, Steve. Thanks for having me on. I. I, I will see you, my good man. I will talk to you later. Lulu Much love. coming soon. Happy, Woo. Ranking. Happy New Year. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. Well, guys, that was Michael J. Casey, our co-director of Lulu in the Electric Dream Poe and the star and head writer of it. And it's it's a very we're, – we're looking a lot – so much towards this, a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to take a few-minute break, um, but we will be back. I got to I got to charge the camera. I got to stick in. But uh, we're when we get back, give about ten or so minutes. Um, I'm going to be posting this immediately. We're going to come back with our VIP list and add. Is it Abaca? Oh, excuse me, Abaca. A B B I C A. Abaca, your VIP print signing is next on the list. We will see you after this short commercial break. Commercial break. Sure.